Hello adventurers, gather around for the Trivium of Time. Welcome back everyone! Damn it, Manny! <laughs> Why did you have to clap right as, right as I spoke? Welcome back everyone to another riveting in adventure of Trivium of Time! Adventure of Time! Adventurers! I am Wrong your. One. <laughs> I am your dungeon master, Gunther, and we will start on my right on introductions. I'm Manny, and I am, and I play Evan Essence of House Essence, firstborn son of House Essence. But I am, and on my right. I, oh, oh, damn. Okay, I did, I was expecting that to take like an hour. Sorry about that. I don't have I'm that Ron many titles yet. I'm Ron Pip, and I'm being played by Alex. And, uh, I'm going to, uh, let the next person go. Good morning! It is I, Oh, that Vimic. is that campaign! Okay. <laughs> like, I thought I was making the wrong quote! It's, what? I thought I was quoting what the wrong What quote campaign. are you we, talking we, about? We've been Good doing morning! This, we've been doing Good this for morning. how long? It's, Good morning! Good morning, It's like 8, 11 p.m. and it's morning. I don't know why I thought that that was a- I don't know why I thought for a second that that was a silent thing. I don't know. Oh, what? <laughs> Silex doesn't say good morning. I know, I Silex doesn't say... even have a concept of time. Silex, Silex. That is truth. Actually, no, he would, because well, he, no, he would register the sun, but I don't think that, that, that time matters All, to all Silex says is, can I eat that? <laughs> Same. <laughs> and watches you while you bathe. <laughs> yeah. And Not then, same. Um, <laughs> and uh, then we have a new player. Hey! hey! Joining us. Go ahead and introduce yourself. You don't have to introduce your character yet, because we'll get there. Okay. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm the new player. I don't know what else to say. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, last time in our adventures. Last time in your adventures, uh, you were ambushed by a group of high elven assassins, and they were led by some sort of a druid lady and a priest person that was hanging behind them, not doing anything. Y'all took your fight and made well, your last stand. To be fair, it wasn't doing much more than the assassins. I mean, the assassins were doing okay. okay. I think they got a couple shots at someone. I, I fight at, at me, I think. And I believe they downed I Vimic. was downed, yeah. yes. I was downed. Um, you guys managed to survive, even up to the point where she became a winter wolf and nearly killed your companion. Um, whose name I can't remember all. Arthur I, Arthurian. Arthurian. Uh, Arthurian. That's Othorian. right. Arthurian. Yes. Uh, nearly killed him. Which would have been bad. Um, and you guys beheaded one of them, dumped the bodies into the into the ocean, and headed back, proving that the high elves were up to no good. <gasps> dun dun dun. So you presented uh, the evidence to the Somerset princess and showed that. You guys need their, the the wood elves' help with dealing with the high elves who are clearly going to uh, spread and cause an invasion upon the human uh, lands of Arcadia. Um, she, she's agreed and told you guys to go tell your leadership or emperor or whatever had the humans had at the time, and you come to realize, oh shit, that's right, there is no emperor right now. So y'all had to go to the back to the capital. Dun dun dun! Yeah. Through the Feywild once again, where you followed Bumble Bottom, I think his name was. Something like that. Bumble, Bumble Bop. It was Bumble, Bumble Bop. Bop. Bumble yes. Bop. You followed Bumble Bop through. That's so cute. Oh yeah. Bumble and through Bop interplanar magics, met a couple of adventurers passing through as well. <laughs> it was very interesting. Very yeah. tight Easter eggs. Yeah, yeah. It um, was. And Bumble Bop has led you out of the Fey Realm and presented you with the grand view of the giant capital trade city known as Vasros. In what would have taken a week or so, or, or so of travel, it took like an hour, didn't it? Uh, no, it was, like, the fail, fail it was like a month of travel, wasn't it? Would have been, like it would have been like a couple weeks of travel. Not yeah. quite a month, like three weeks to get to capital, two weeks to get to Thimbleville. Because that was the other right. option that you guys were yeah. considering. Um, That's right. And so... Being at the capital city, which is Evan's hometown, where he was born at, you guys all went to go visit the Essence Estate. Yeah. Um, so you all got to see how busy and bumbling the city was. It didn't do a very good job of describing it, but it's very busy and bumbling. 
the highway that you guys crossed uh, called the South Road, for a lack of descript- better descriptions. Is um, it an old town road? Is <laughs> no, is it's lined not. with stalls. There's merchants of every single kind, just whatever room they could find, they found it. And so there's an area in the middle full of uh, merchants, areas along the walls full of merchants, and storefronts galore. And eventually you guys made to the Essence Estate, where you met uh, his butler, uh, whose name I also forget. Gerard. Yeah. Gerard, that's right. That's what we're naming it now. No, his, yeah, his name is Gerard. I, I just made that up. Is it? No, no, that's what he wanted to do last time, but then he forgot, and then he was like, Oh, crap, I missed my chance. <laughs> did you Did you just make that up? I just made that I up. I hate as you, a, I just made that up. As <laughs> that sounded right. <laughs> no, because that's what happened. You wanted to name him Gerard Butler, and then... No, I didn't Gerard. want to name him Gerard Butler. Really? Who, who was the other butler you wanted to name him then? Uh, or were you telling me that I should have I, named I, him? I joked that I wanted to name that I missed an opportunity to name him Gerard Butler. Um, See? Because I named your butler Alfred. Uh, yes. That's right. That's and you named my name tailor butler. Micah. Yes. Uh, Micah Oh, Crane. yeah, you're right. Holy shit. How did you do that? My characters. I like Batman too much. Yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of worse. Uh, <laughs> he's Paul. He's Paul McCoy. That was it. That's that right. That was yeah. it. To be along with the, the music puns. Yes. So, yes, thank you. Um, you met his well. butler, Paul McCoy, who's a speedy fellow. And I'm quiet. Very quiet. Uh, and you met his father, George. Uh, and his mother Jacqueline, his sister Amelia, and come to find out that his brother is on a trading uh, a business trip in the northern city of Faselis. Uh You guys had a nice chit chat with the family. The families just told you guys what was going on in the city where his friend uh, Zeppelin of House Lead has fallen uh, into. Incapacitation. Incapa- yeah, that's a good yeah. word. Incapacitation um, through nefarious means, which has now moved House Essence up into the line of House of Nobles that are eligible for the throne. But he has to face the other noble houses and figure out who's really the best Gosh, one to be at. I, uh, I can I can reiterate the, the houses for you, if you need to, that information. And it was Bumblebop, yeah. Um, Bumblebop. And, then, and then lastly... You guys met Ed Schramm, his gif. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just wait, just wait till you hear the whole house is, okay? Face, your face I can't do this. <laughs> uh, his gif. Thank you, Manny, for spiking all of the mics. <laughs> <laughs> his wow. gif teacher, of which his gif teacher had then uh, graciously announced that he wishes to test Evan's might. And we can start this round by rolling initiative. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we all need to roll it? No. Okay. Oh, okay, cool, cool, so. cool. Because I have a plan. You can roll if you want to, like, say something. You can roll like, if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. And if they don't Woo! roll, then if they don't roll, then they're at a lower initiative modifier. Uh, <laughs> so I rolled. <laughs> huh? I rolled. Uh, you're not part of this. Unless you want to be part of the fight. Not really. Then you didn't roll initiative. What did okay. you roll? Sorry? 12. Okay. Yeah. No, it's cool. Okay. We're not gonna worry about small things like that. If if it's if, if you're if it if it sounded like a like a huge ass muffler, that that would be a problem. Yes. I kind of wish it did, but it does not. <laughs> okay. Just sitting in the pause and That'd be great. Customize so your sounds. <laughs> starting out the fight. Oh no, did I not save his No I did. I did. Ha 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 ha. I did. Okay. Starting out the fight, Edshran brings out his own spiritual being and says, Earth in the wind and fire! And this amalgamous being of elements appears. And Edshran actually will go first. Okay. His reaction is faster than yours. And uh, he will. Ooh, you got teaching. It's the first swipe. Give you. It's courtesy, age before beauty. And he will uh, point in your direction, putting a hand uh, at his hip and leaning back real nicely, saying, Color of the wind! <gasps> I thought that was happening with these weird poses. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I did it for, uh. 
I was about to say alchemy, but it's not it. Anatomy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I did it for anatomy once. I can do it again. This would be very interesting shapes to draw. I took my sketches of basil. Oh. I did a bunch of them. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Next we'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh. You'll see. No, this is what you're doing. There it is. Okay. Oh, your campaign. Got it. Um, a blast of air suddenly strikes you, uh, uh, Manny. Mm -hmm. Heaven. Yes. As, as, as suddenly just <laughs> this co uh, not cone, this tunnel of air just blasts across you and my immortal. Do Make I me a strength okay. saving throw. Strength saving. That's a 15 solid. 15? Okay, you'll take half damage. Okay. Cool. Ooh. Take... Seven points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh, wow! As uh, as this blast of air just kind of rips up the tiles from uh, from your backyard area, and and some of them smack smack across you. You manage to you know power through them with my immortal, but you still end up taking a bit of damage. All right, what do you do? Shit. Okay, so <sighs> yeah, gonna use. Um, my more, as an action, I'm going to fire. An, I'm going to point point my finger. Uh, we're gonna point point my our fingers at him. Uh, shoot the thrill! And um, he's gonna make a dex saving throw. Uh, uh, and I fire as I fire energy beam. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen will. Leave. Let's see. Proficiency. Oh, that meets it actually. No, wait, 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 no, wait, six. No, that's that's a 14, that doesn't, that doesn't mean, that, 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 yeah, he beats it. Okay. Yep. Ah, uh, shit. And, so does uh, he take half damage? Mm, nope. So he dodges yeah. it. He dodges it, yeah. yeah so and so then, you, you try to, you try to fire a beam of energy at him, and he, he like, Matrix dodges across it. Right, and he seems, he seems to do this very well. Like, he's yeah. done it before. Alright, uh, then I'm going to use uh, my bonus action to switch Psychic Focus from Mastery of Light to um, Force, giving me advantage on Strength Checks, which would probably would have been good earlier. Oh, okay. Let's check that same throw. And then I'm just going to uh, dash this way, 15 feet. Yee. Okay. Okay. Um, that's the end of my turn. Oh wait, no! No! If I decide not to move, I can actually use another bonus action. So, screw that, I'll, I won't will do that. Mm -hmm. And instead, I'll use my bonus action to activate Tough Hide and give myself 16 to help my own class. Okay. Yep. Alright, that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, you'll see him uh, change his pose and he'll be he'll, he'll use his bonus action to change his psych focus and say, ILLUMINATION! And the, the spirit will suddenly erupt in flames. Ooh, that's it? Huh? No. Oh, okay. Now, now he uh, spends his turn and uh, he uh, fires this this cross of fire at you. Ooh. Make a Constitution saving throw. Con save. Okay, I think I'm better at that actually. Damn it! Come on. Con save. Uh, that's an eight. Eight. Jeez. Oof. <laughs> New dice. New dice. <laughs> Take 19 points of fire damage, Christ. and you are set on fire. I'm gonna use my um, I'm gonna use my reaction to have that. So okay, yeah. So what's not what's half of 19? What would, that, what would you call that? Nine. Nine. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. And as he does so, he uh, ends up lighting the. Uh, the brush behind you on fire. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Actually, the tree. You have a you have a nice tree. Now it's on fire. <laughs> I'm going to. So is my turn again? Yes. All right. Cool. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I will. Um, I'm gonna spend five side points. Oh no! I didn't take a long rest, did I? So I am still twenty three. Okay, twenty eight. Okay, so now I'm at twenty three. Two. Why is this a concentration? Is this weird? 
Oh, blind until the concentration ends. Okay. Are you okay. the only one not on D and D Beyond yet? No. Okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, I'm going to fire. Oh, I'm going to fire radiant beam, mm -hmm. and um, basically just go like, <laughs> just blinded by the light, and just <laughs> fire a, a beam of light from my immortal, and he has to make a dex save. Okay. That is a six. Six. That definitely fails. So he takes six d six radiant damage and is blinded until my concentration ends. Nice. Hey, uh, Rumble. Yeah. Hey, uh, let me, let me, uh, let me get one of those cookies. Yeah, I, I hold up in the bag for him. Here, reach my hand in the bag. Hand. Go into the bag. Pull out a sugar cookie. <gasps> I reach into the bag. Okay. Pull my mead. Yeah. Is there anything for me to sit on? Uh, yeah. There's a couple benches. Okay, I, I go sit on the bench. Yeah. Is the butler still around? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Which is weird, because he came out with you guys. He's no longer eight, around. 12. Huh. 16. I just sit there. Ooh. I, I watched the impending fight. That's uh, 21 points of radiant damage, and he's blinded. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, until my concentration ends, and my concentration lasts for a minute. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to... Uh, dash out of his way. I'm going to just, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, and then for my bonus action, oh, is there anything I can do for my bonus action right now? Uh, did you use your bonus action to tough hide? That was my last, that, that was my last one, because I, because I, because I didn't move, so I decided to oh, use right, my right, bonus right. action. Yeah, you're yep. right. Yep. And let's see, can I, is there Hold on. Okay. Um, can I use my bonus action to put up the flames, or is that an action? Um, it's not time for you to eat yet. You can extinguish the flames with an action. Is the in this garden? Do I have a fountain? Uh, yes. Would it was it in range of of, of where I was? Is it th within thirty feet of me? Yes. Okay, I'm going to jump in that fountain to yeah, see the Make an athletics check okay. with a disadvantage. With a disadvantage, okay. Athletics. Three. Three? <laughs> uh, athletics, it's, um... Yeah, three! Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you, you, you know, you kind of know where the fountain is, but you, you've, you've blasted light out of yourself, and you're still on fire, and you try to run over, and you, you kind of, like, uh, trip over yourself, and kind of, like, don't quite land on, in the fountain, okay. you're, like, on the edge of it. Okay. I'm not prone or anything, am I? Hey, no. Alright, okay, cool. He, but you do take fire damage. Yeah. Okay, fine. He rumped it. Yeah. Uh, that will be four. Look at his style burn. And then make a concentration <laughs> check. Oh shit, you're right. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. I... I don't know what I'm not looking at. Not fucking one. <laughs> oh, you're no! Fine. No, you're good. You're, no, goodbye. You're not, you're not doing So well you lose that. concentration. <laughs> and he's no longer blinded. Shit! <laughs> well, at least I, at least I, I slap him with sixty sixes. And he so. goes, ha, 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 ha. You, you tricky one. You've learned a lot. So have this. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and um. Uh. Poop. I can't think of an, like a, a, a song right? or an album. Right. Right. <laughs> Welcome to my thing. For uh. Earth. Whatever, doesn't matter. Ain't Gonna no move on. Mountain uh, <laughs> and it's no mountain. And a blade will, a uh, club will rip out of the ground and come flying towards you. Boop, 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 boop. Don't join the club. Uh, Eighteen on the die. Damn. It. Yeah, that hits. Uh, 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. And the club comes flying back into his ha uh, hands after it's whacked into you and crashed through the fountain. Okay. Cool. Your turn. Alright. I'm, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I am going to hop into, hop into the fountain. I, okay. I, I would just yeah. close it so, and uh, put out the flames with the water. And then I'm going to use my action to. That was your action. Oh, okay, fair enough. All right, then I'm going to. Actually, no. We'll say that your bonus action, because you were right there next to the water. Oh, okay, sure. 
Alright, um, and that costs some movement speed, like 5 feet or something? Uh, no. Okay, cool. So I, right so, so I would slap my bonus action then. Alright, sweet. I can work for that. Alright, then instead I'm going to cast, uh, cast Grasp on my master. Mm -hmm. Send my moral to whoosh, and, uh, yeah, he has to make a strength saving throw. Uh, <laughs> that's a six. That also, that fails. Yeah. Yeah, so my mole is going to grab him. Okay. And then I'm going to, uh... No, Ed! I mean, uh... Never mind. And then I'm going to, <laughs> and then I'm going to use uh, my, my other bonus action to summon spiritual weapon. Okay. And have it attack him. Okay. So, platinum wagon! And just basically, my mole is going to take, take, a, uh, take, out, take out a, um, a rapier. And, let's see, is that a... Spell attack? Yes, yeah, spiritual weapon. Um, yeah, spell attack. And I'm casting it at second level, so. Yep. So that's gonna be an extra d8. Oh, no, no, at third level, so. Yeah, get uh, an imaginary yeah. lady! <laughs> so, yeah, spell attack. Uh, Oops. Ooh! 17 plus oh. 6, that would be a, uh, be a yeah, 23. That'd be 23. 23? To hit? Yes. Yes. Okay, that hits. So then that's 2d8 so force while, damage. <clears throat> while he's figuring out his damage here, uh, Vimic is inspecting the bench that Ron Pip had sat down on. Okay. And uh, realizes he doesn't like the bench. Are you, are you gonna try and throw it? Okay. You said everything in this house <laughs> is like really unnatural and like smooth cut and carved. Uh, the bench is also highly decorated, in in like a carved fashion. So it's like it's carved yeah, with not. an edge of like if, stuff. If anything, he looks at it and he feels sad. Does, okay. your, does it make your butt feel uncomfortable? He, he won't even. He refuses. <laughs> Vimic refuses. To I thought he actually down sat on down on it. Okay. No. So something I just realized. I have. I don't think I've been adding my wisdom modifier to my uh to my to my damage because spiritual weapon is one d eight plus spellcasting ability modifier. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, holy shit! Um, that's, uh, max. The, 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 um, no, 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 I, I got, I got, I got max damage on both die. That's what I asked, yeah. max? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so 16 okay. plus... His name is Manny. Yeah. Two. 16 <laughs> plus, uh, three, my wisdom modifier is three. Uh, so... 19? 19. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, 19 points of force so, damage. So, uh, my immortal, uh, yeah, just kind of like... And, like, pricks him. Yes. <laughs> and so it's now it's his turn. Here's something new. <laughs> so many new tricks. Ha ha ha, but you would think this will stop me. <gasps> and then before he gets his voice out, your mother appears from behind oh, the shit. group. No! Oh, no! <laughs> and uh, immediately says, Cease! And, uh... I... Both I will, of you I will two... Put down my bottle of mead and I try to hide it under my coat. <laughs> <laughs> All three of you need to make me a wisdom saving throw. What? Mama no! Mama no! Wait, all three. Oh, okay, All three okay. of us. Wisdom save? Yeah. That's a 19. Wow. That's a 16. Wow. Eleven. Eleven? Uh, you, Ron Pip, Evan, and Ed fail. Wow! You are considered frightened. Oh no! As suddenly she wait, calls upon wait, her wait, own spirit. Wait, 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 so was this magical? Huh? Was this magical? Uh, through? technically no. Okay. Because she summons her own spiritual... Psionic ability. Psionic. Wait. Companion. Yes. What? Wait, what? So, what, the wisdom saving throw was not uh, by magic. It's a psionic means. ability. So... It's not magical. Well, no, it's, it's... Psionics aren't magic. Psionics are not considered magic. Yeah, they... in, in terms of mystics shit. In general. In general, psionics aren't magic. In, according to the aberrant uh, sorcerer in Honor of the Arcana, that stuff is oh. all magical. Okay, but that's what you're of, referencing. Yeah, okay. because mystic... There are certain things that say that they're magical. We have to go by the fact that they're not magical. So this was not magical. Yes, mm. I understand. Um, she calls upon her own her own 
uh, spiritual companion, and it takes the form of a hollow draconic angel outfitted in pipe organs. Christ! And you get this, you, you, uh, Rompip, Evan, and Ed suddenly get this sudden menacing aura that, like, <laughs> sends shivers down your spine. Vimic's too busy hating the bench okay. to really notice. <laughs> okay, that's true. Yeah. Lacuna <laughs> Coil! Puts her companion away. That is enough, Ed. You have all destroyed my backyard. What is wrong with you? Uh, I mean, all I did was sit on a bench. She's not talking to you. She's talking to Ed and. Uh, I was just. You saying. still say that? Yeah. <laughs> well, she completely ignores you. She doesn't give you any heat. Uh, he. Um, uh, uh, Master Sh Master Ed Sh Master Shron wanted to test my ability to see how five come, and uh, I, I couldn't say no to that. We, we were gonna fix the garden afterwards. You'll you'll find that Ed's hiding behind you. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, Master! <laughs> <laughs> Your mother scares me. She's a very frightening woman. <laughs> Turn around. She is a very powerful woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for the observation, uh, Vimic. He he notices these things. So, He's perceptive. <laughs> the first thing you will note is that you've never seen your mother do this. It's like this oh. is the first time you've ever seen her do this. <laughs> it's like, it's, um, you know, just, I'm just look at it. So I, I, I see. I, I, so I saw Lacuna Coil for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll like, hey, did you did, did did you teach her that? No, <laughs> she, she she learned it. On her own. She uh, contacted me to teach you. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna like have my immortal just kind of mm -hmm. wisp, wisp in and just kind of. Uh, so, mom, uh, didn't know you also had a, had an imaginary friend. Uh, she she will she will like we compel herself mm -hmm. and go. Yes, I too have. <laughs> A quarry. You These nobles have to make up a lot of friends. Are under a bloodline of people known as Kalishtar. Star. <laughs> I just realized that now. <laughs> Our origins come from the astral plane, which is where Ed is from, and why we have a connection to our spiritual Guardians. Huh. And me and my mortal just kind of look at each other like, huh. It's like this is new information to us. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's, that's news to us. That's for sure. What? Why did you tell me? Is, is that also, uh? Your father is not. <laughs> oh. No. He's human. A very charming human, apparently. <laughs> oh, no. oh, like, she kind of side eyes like <laughs> Damn. Right. <laughs> it's charming. Right. It's like that, that Chi Chi moment of like why did I marry him? <laughs> it's like uh okay, this is uh this is interesting. Uh, um what about uh It only ha comes about in the firstborn. Oh. Okay. So, so your sister and your brother do not have it. Uh, are they aware of it though? Have you told him? No. And I would prefer if you kept this under the ropes, son. Uh, okay. Um, no one else in the capital knows that we can do this. As far as everyone else is concerned, we are human. So please stop destroying <laughs> our backyard. <clears throat> Not destroy the backyard. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Paul just falls the butler, and the, the butler just kind of like stands up from behind her. It's he human. I'll, just, I'll pull. Yes, of course. All right. Are you not to know? I am, ma'am. I've seen some weird shit in the past few months. I'm not gonna lie. 
I didn't, like, you do this, your own son doesn't know about it. I don't know how I'm supposed to know. I'm just double checking. Fair enough. <laughs> Paul will show you all to your individual guest rooms. Thank you. Except for you, you may, you may return to your old room. Okay. Still um, as fresh as ever, since you left. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Uh, me and, me and, me and Ed will, uh, will get to cleaning up in that car real quick, though. Thank you. Yes. Should we use our own, or would you prefer us to do it by hand? I... <laughs> she yeah. kind of... I, 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 I gives, she gives I'm you the mom stare. I'm just gonna be looking at uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, from behind you see Ron. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get some shovels. <laughs> Maybe. Follow me, Master Vimic and Ron Pip. And All right. Paul will lead you to your guest rooms. Great do. And they're finally furnished. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and say that you guys have your rest. So we have a two-day downtime period before. Evan is invited to the nobles meeting. Okay. okay. So we'll go ahead and start with Vimic. Oh, okay. So, yes. what do you want to do on your first day? On my first day? Mm-hmm. Uh, how long would it take for me, because I know things had changed a little bit, how long would it take for me to get back to the forest on the out, on the outer part of the capital? Uh... Like, half a day. Oof. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I couldn't, like, go down... I'd, I'd end up going there down are there, parts, hanging out... There are like, parks okay. within... Excuse me, Vassaros. Okay. Because this place is so damn big, they, they know that urbanization is not ideal for, you know, public order. Okay. So there are parks that have been erected. Okay. So oh, there are thing. natural areas... That are more or less maintained by someone. Okay. I'll go to one of the parks is going to be the first thing I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, I need to get some of the stuff sold off, but you and I need to figure out what you have in your inventory versus what I have in my inventory, because I didn't realize we had duplicates of the yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I've already gone over my stuff. I know what I have decided to get is Did already with you, so... Yes. Okay. That's fine. So, upon going to the park, you know, what, what are um, you doing? Go to sell the stuff. We'll assume Ron Pip went with you. Okay, well, park well, first. Go to the park. You, what are you doing at the I park? I get to the park, mm -hmm. and I look at all the trees mm -hmm. that would be in this park, mm -hmm. and I just take a deep breath. Okay. Like, oh my god, finally, something that's somewhat-ish natural. <laughs> okay. All We're right. gonna jump to Lauren. Yes. Yeah. So you... <laughs> you have been traveling to Vassaros from the uh, Havelgamir Northlands for some time. Mm -hmm. And you came here because you are following a vision from your dreams. And from you, what you've learned from your family friend, it's a vision that your, your parents had also shared, which is why they left. Um, in your dream... You saw water flow from the mountains into two bowls, and between them a city of paper and gold. At the gates of the city, you saw three heroes. One was a giant of storms riding a dragon. Another was a knight cowled in blades and metal. And the last was a humanoid of royal robes, held in the air by a spiritual visage, followed by a creation of legend. And together, uh... The heroes made their way north from the gates, where a sapphic crystal glimmers and rains water from its surface. It's dream I've done up. <laughs> and so... Oh shit. <laughs> looking, looking for a map, you, you figured out that the two bowls in the city of paper and gold must be the human capital trade city. Because it's a trade city and it's between two massive lakes. Okay. That's as far as you've gotten. Okay. And so you've been at the city for... Uh, five days now, and you have no idea where this giant riding a dragon, this knight made of blades, and this person in royal robes being, like, floating in the air. You have not seen any of this. Okay. Up until you're wandering this park, and you happen to see this really big guy right next to a wyvern-like creature. 
Okay. Who I'm now playing fetch with. Yes. Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> okay. Okay. Now what do I do? Uh, what would, what would, you, like what would do? you like to do? Probably approach them. <gasps> okay. And say, I've been searching for you. Oh, oh. All this time. What? Who? <laughs> Who are you? I've seen Hello, you. Hello, good in... morning. <laughs> you sound like Reinhardt. Is that what you're yeah, going you for? Yeah, you gotta do! Hey! I'm not upset by this. <laughs> that's not at all what I was going for. I thought that's what you were trying to do. I give, it a, give it a bit more of a, of a German accent. Any, any, any <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> Good <laughs> morning! Yes. There we go. A little bit of German in there. <laughs> yeah. So this uh, very well-armored water genasi has approached you and says, I've been, I've been looking for you. Oh yeah, please uh, describe oh. uh, what you what you look like. Okay, hold on. I wrote this down. Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Prepared. Help. Where is it? So you can swipe. Uh, eh. Or not. <laughs> Touch the dots. <laughs> yeah, or the dots at the bottom. Right, yeah. So you can go to the notes or description. <laughs> either one. Appearance. Oh, I thought I already added this. Oh, okay. Um. So I have. So I'm assuming this all this is all happened on the same day. They got they saw the ruins and they decided to explore the city. Hmm. No. Oh really? Yeah. What? This was towards the, your fight was towards the end of the day. Oh, okay. You guys spent a long rest, so you can add that. Okay. If you like, you taken damage, so you can take a long rest. Right. Um, and then the next day, uh, y'all are doing something. Okay. Yeah, I guess. I We're guess. I guess, I guess fixing the back guard would have taken about a portion of my day, so I can go visit. Z -Z 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 asshole, one so. thing. Okay. Can I can I ask uh, one thing I want to be able to do before Lauren showed up mm -hmm. is can I try and have shown Dorzul the water to try and figure out what was going on with her? Sure. Like, is there like a small pond or something in the park that I could have done yeah. this with? Okay. Yeah. So you would have taken her towards the water, and she would have like leaned over, looked, and then backed up. <laughs> <laughs> Further than she's moved forward. <laughs> she's like, oh shit. <laughs> his, 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 his I'm never gonna learn that she can breathe underwater. Hmm? I'm never gonna learn that she has like a massive swimming speed and can like breathe underwater and stuff. Does she have a swim speed? <laughs> yeah. She's got like a 30 feet swimming speed or something I think you put in there. Hmm. Or either that or she shared my movement. I think she shares your movement. In which case, she would still have that. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am... I don't know if I'm doing this right, so correct me if I'm mm -hmm. wrong. There is no wrong. Okay. I am female. I am very tall. Um, How tall? 5'6". Well, I guess that's not really tall. That's tall for me. He's like... <laughs> that's tall for me, okay? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Go on. Well, uh, I'll, ex I'll describe my character to you when you're done. Okay, so yes. I'm, I'm guessing I'm not very tall. No, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so translucent, watery skin that's blue, light bluish green hair that floats like water, um, light gray eyes. I'm 25, um, and I have scale mail. Nice. And she's uh, donning a a shield and, and flail. Yes. Okay. So there's I'm a shield on her back and a flail on her side. I am Brigitte. You are Brigitte. I am yeah. Brigitte. Uh, uh, I like Pretty it. Much. I like it. Pretty I much. like that a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. And so this this actually makes sense, especially with you saying that uh, I sound like Reinhardt. <laughs> because what you see in front of you is a eight foot tall Goliath man with gray skin tattoos that come down on top of his head like spike tattoos that go this way. Mm -hmm. Scars on his on his left side. Mm -hmm. Left side, yeah. Oh yeah, because the bear tattoo. Yeah, because I was he mauled has by five, a bear. Uh, distinct claw marks going yes. from his ear uh, to like his cheekbone. Yeah. Dang. Mm -hmm. I was mauled by a bear. That's pretty dope. I'll, I'll just say <laughs> He's it. just the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have scale mail uh, as well oh. uh, on my chest. It's like a vest Tundies. of scale mail, but nothing else as far as like <laughs> shirt, right? Um, and there's like tufts of like fur mm -hmm. that come out of the scale mail. It looks like it'd be very warm. Okay. <laughs> You're not wearing like a, a gambon or something like that? Really? Nope. Bless you. Yeah, You're not wearing like gamson yeah. or padding or anything. Nope, or anything. nope. It's Other just the like, scale mail. Assuming that the scale the mail's fur line is about it. What's yeah, yeah. Line? That's literally it. Uh, I think you just made that word up. I might have. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not wearing underneath anything underneath the scale mail. It's padding, padding from the fur, and that's all. Mm -hmm. Um, some normal like pants. <laughs> yeah, tra uh, yeah, trousers. And I've got like a crap ton of gear on me. 
Dope. Like, I have a satchel bag that goes across my side, a quiver of arrows, a longbow that goes along the other side, two short swords on either hip. A big-ass backpack. A giant backpack, yeah, that goes in there. A, a shield that glows bright blue uh, uh, that goes over the quiver in the longbow. <laughs> standard adventurer stuff. <laughs> yeah, standard adventuring yeah. gear. Get. Just like a crap ton of shit. And yeah. he also has a creature that he's been playing fetch with. Yes. That the best way to describe it is a porpoise, porpoise mixed with a... Not anymore, not anymore. Uh, it looks uh, more like a platypus. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah, because it got older. It got it got bigger. It got so older So the head bigger. actually like elongates partially. So it looks more like a like a bird's head. I was about to say, it's like it grew a beak. Basically. <laughs> yeah, it kind of did. Um, this is so weird. And it, it like runs around like a, like a, not a chicken. Like a... <laughs> Like a raptor. Yeah, like a yeah. raptor. Okay. okay. Chicken oh, raptors. Kind of cute. Yeah, it's it's like a, it's running around like a raptor, but it has like little nubby wings that I quite, can't quite use yet, it. and it's got a kind of like a platypus face. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Long neck, yeah. Uh huh. Long yeah. neck. Okay. Yeah. 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 And its head. its tail uh, still holds its its uh, like fish like feature. Okay. Oh my god! It had a chicken head with duck's feet <laughs> and a woman's face too. So yeah. Oh very, very, very strange. <laughs> very but, strange. But it uh, it fits your it fits it, the thing. imagery of your dream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Some of the gear might be a little different. The dragon might look a little different if I'm writing it. A little, yeah. like. <laughs> Wyvern. Wyvern might look a little different. Anyway. He's on my tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's me. And, uh, yeah, I look at you. I'm like, what? what, what? Good morning. <laughs> Where are the others? I saw two more uh, in my dream. Others? Two? Uh, in your dream. What dream? Uh, I'm having a brain fart. You don't have to reiterate no. the whole dream. Okay. Yeah. She, she reiterates the dream. She tells okay, me. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can skip certain yes. things by just saying, I repeat, or like, it's yeah. just understood. Okay. You don't, you don't have to worry about repeating things verbatim, because sometimes we'll brain fart. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Cool. Not an issue at all. Don't um, do that, girl. Well, that man in your dream sounds like he might have style. <laughs> and if that is the case, I know just the individual. Who? Evan, my traveling companion. And my brother, Ron Pip. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What is your name? Lorelai. Lorelai. Good morning, Lorelai. Is it is it morning or is it like afternoon? Uh, it'd be morning still. Oh, okay. You would, you yeah. probably wouldn't have gone out. You would have gone out at like the break of dawn. Fair enough. Out of habit, and like fair enough. Been doing yeah. stuff in the morning. My name is Vimic. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. I'm sorry. I feel so awkward. <laughs> no, it's fine. You'll 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 ease into it. It okay. will it will start to come more naturally. Okay. <laughs> I need you to go on a quest with me. All of you. All of us? Mm hmm Well, we're a little busy right now. <laughs> um, what is your quest? Remind me. Um, her quest is she's trying, trying to find the, she, she iterates to you that her, her family's vision quest has been to find the facets of virtue. And she says that? Yes. Facets of virtue? Facets of virtue, specifically. Okay. Those, just three words. Yeah. Being clear because yeah. of mm -hmm. precedent. And uh, her family has been plagued with visions about disaster. Uh, that if these fell into the wrong hands, that the, basically the whole world could be destroyed. And so it's become suddenly become her family's mission to go find these and keep them safe. Because where they are is not safe right now. Well, Lorelai. It seems our paths may have crossed for good reason. Let us go! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! And I start marching back towards Evan's house. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming you follow along? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you'll lead her back to Evan's house. Um, Paul McCoy will greet you and kindly ask that you leave your weapons at the door front. Mm. You don't have to remove them from your inventory, it's okay. I don't think she would. 
She wouldn't leave, uh, her, give up her weapons? I don't know. <laughs> She's, from her past, I didn't think she'd be very trusting, but, I mean, if that's how she gets in, then she probably would. Okay. Yeah. So okay. she can put them on. Okay, yeah. So he I'll, kind of gently puts them on, like, uh, like a rack. rack. Okay. For lack of, uh, yeah. Where, where you see the, the, uh, other array of weapons that have been left behind. <clears throat> Demig puts up his weapons as well. Okay. Um, and you find Evan and Rompip. Do they? Hmm? Do they? I don't know, do they? Or, or, uh, well, actually, yeah. Are you out? Um, I think I would have slept in a little bit. You would have slept in? Okay. <laughs> but, but I, I want to know, though, that dur during, during when me and Ed were, um, fixing up the backyard, I'd like to have a quick conversation with him. Okay. About, um, Master, have you ever heard of... Fichel or the scribes of Fichel? Across the astral plane, there are many beings of power. And the name Fichel kind of sounds like one of them. <laughs> Perhaps. Well, well, part of the reason I was able to do some of the stuff that I just did to you was because I... I he chose me to inherit some of this power and... In, in, in service for some stuff, but uh, recently I was de I was dealt a hand where I cannot involve myself in the oncoming war that's supposed to happen to this city because of because I'm a scribe now. So if I don't if I don't if I if I intervene I lose the powers. If I don't intervene, shit happens. Do you want my advice? Um. Yes, please. Ditch the scribe and find your own path. It sounds as though one is trying to make something for you <laughs> instead of you forging ahead on your own. You seem to have done well on your own so far. It's been what? Five years? Since you since we've last, you know, sparred like that and he gives you like some light punches. They're super <laughs> light. <laughs> they 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 don't they barely tap you. Uh, has it been that long? Alright. I think I'll figure out what to do, do in the morning. Thank you, Master. And I'm gonna go back to re rearranging tiles. Of course, no <laughs> problem. And he gets back to shoveling. Yes. <laughs> um, since we're on you, yes. overnight, you get a dream. Okay. You're not in a library this time, okay. but it seems like you're in a courtroom. Oh. And of course, you're being judged. There oh, are boy. eight blue... Uh, figures standing at pedestal, uh, sitting at pedestals, bearing down on you, and there's one at the center. Okay. In your dream. This is new. For some, maybe. For others, maybe not. We have warned you not to get involved with the uh, voice. You are to simply stand back and observe as we all do as scribes of Fichel. Huh? This will be your last chance. I will summon the book. Yep. And I will place it in front of, uh, place it on whatever, maybe like bench. Yeah, a, pedis or, uh, a pedestal kind yeah. of just like appears and you just it's, yeah, place just, it down. I'm just gonna place it down there. To be honest, that sounds rather boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, thank you very much for the power, but I can't stand idly by. But if you are going to stand back and record, make sure my bits are very exciting. All our bits. We'll be sure to put on a good show for you, lads. Okay. Yeah. They, they kind of murmur to themselves and they're like, then the choice is made. So long. And <laughs> you have that moment of falling and you <gasps> wake up. And uh, you, can you we kind of that? hear... Sorry, can I... Huh? Can, can, um, what were you going to say first? Uh, you hear a conversation coming from... Not outside of your room, but within the house. Oh, can, can it we... sounds like Vimic and someone else. Oh. Can I actually kind of wake up like in the middle of the night, probably like around the same time that maybe he did, or maybe even a little like, like an hour or two I before that? I woke up at the break of dawn. Mm -hmm. 
Could I wake up like a minute before in that? The middle of the night. So that way I can. Yeah, you're in the middle. It's the middle of the night. Can I? Do I still get benefits long rest? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna try and summon the book. And... Book doesn't appear. Okay. <sighs> All right. Uh, you still have the ring though. Oh. They didn't ask for the ring. Okay. Nor that's did they good. take it. It's like okay, good. <laughs> Give it a quick kiss and then, um, I'm gonna kind of think to myself and then, it's like, mutters like that. It's like okay, so I'm gonna have this, or this. Um, you hear echoes from your masters. Forge your own path. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like go to bed, master. It's like, it's like oh, sorry. No, it's like, forge your own path in the you hear, morning. You hear thum, 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 thum. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh wait, hold on. Do you have do you have paper and pen? Do I have what? Do you have like a, bl a blank booklet with you? I mean, come on, you, you had to have bought, bought, bought a souvenir while you were here. Oh, d d d fine, hold on. Dum, 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 dum. You hear some like rang rattling and uh, uh, some more thump, 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 and then knock, knock. Yes. Uh, hey, have... you just asked um, him for whatever he's giving you. Go to bed. I, I was trying to sleep in, but now I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, a scroll and ink, I I guess. It's like, what do you, you? It's, like, it's like, okay, so, um, while I was uh, a scribe for Jell, it's like, I would read the book, I would read the book on, um, on, on certain times down, and I would get ideas, and now I've got them, and now I'm going to forge my own path. Thank you! And I'm going to close the door. Oh, oh, okay, good, good. And I'm going to just sit low. As Vimic walks by, he's going to give Ed a pat on the back. It's just no style. And he'll walk, oh. continue down the stairs. Uh, yes. Is that? Mm. <laughs> right, and I go to sleep as well. <laughs> and then I'm going to um, lay, lay, lay down the scrolls, the book on my on my desk, and I'm going to spend the, the hours until he gets to him, writing up my new spell book. Jesus, sorry, you have to be. So, I'm sorry. So ah, <laughs> sorry. Of he does. It's Manny. Come on. Yep. I'm going to spend that time writing up my new spell book. Okay. This is how with spells. Do. Yeah. So oh. Ooh, the yeah. I like that. <laughs> okay, I see what you've done. Yeah, that's cool. So uh, Manny has denounced his cleric class. Oh. And uh, has taken the amount of time with the aid of my immortal to now be a wizard. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that look on your face was amazing. God, I wish we had cameras. So he is now a wizard of the, of the mystic of the school of coalescence in which he is now trying to combine the arcane powers of the weave with the psionic abilities handed down from him through his an an uh, astral heritage. That's awesome. That's also awesome. My dad just made me a dice bag. Yes, Another good way. on him. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. Oh Little God. skeleton with mustaches. I heavily approve of the use of this book. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. Oh, oh, what are we doing in the meantime? Um, there we go. Yep. Uh, so, put you using my ring to like officially stamp spells I've created. Just like yes, that is that is patented by by the Essence family. <laughs> okay. Yes. So okay. you are now. Yeah. Now I've heard overheard some stuff. You overheard now some... that I've taken like. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Yes. I am hungry for some breakfast. That's really cool. That, that is that is genuinely really cool. I, I like this. Uh, what is Ron Pip doing? Uh, did he did he also wake up? Because you you technically were in the military, so you probably have a schedule as well. Yeah. So he's also used to waking up at the crack of dawn so that goblins don't shoot him. Yeah. While he's sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Um. So he actually headed out towards the market area around the same time. Okay. Shortly after Vimic would have left. Okay. He's not getting up that early. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vimic, like, woke up just before the break of dawn, so just before light came. Yeah. You woke up at around the time the, the sun actually has, like, some distance from the horizon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, donned my armor, I grabbed my short sword out of the hallway, mm -hmm. and I headed out. Okay. Towards the market area. Okay. You head towards the market area. What am, am I able to find a, another courier office? Uh, yeah, there's plenty of them. Okay. Uh, am I able to essentially find the same one as the one we went to in Masarni? There's only one. 
Okay. There's there's an Arcadian Postal Service. Okay, cool. I find the an Arcadian Postal Service office. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to buy... Apps. APS. Apps. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Apps. Yeah. I'm going to buy two pieces of paper, some sealing wax, okay. and a quill. Um, you don't need the quill. Okay. Uh, it'll be provided for you. Um, uh, we'll just assume, we'll say paper was, uh, two silver pieces. Okay. So, two silver. Remove. Okay. I am also going to then write out two letters if you wouldn't mind handing those over to Oh Gunther. shit. Okay. Actually, everybody <laughs> went extra today. <laughs> 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 and I am going to ask that these be sent to Thimbleville. Alright, we'll uh, go ahead and send them to, to Thimbleville. How much is that gonna cost? It will be ten copper pieces. Ten please. Co- all right. I give him ten copper. Okay, oh, actually, I give him one silver. You give him, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Equivalent. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> and then I will head out into the market. Okay. You head into the market. What are you looking for? Uh, I am poking around stalls, seeing if I can find anything useful. <laughs> um, I mean, there's. Items of every kind. Okay. There's merchants of every kind. It's it's kind of a free for all. There's okay. no like sections or anything. Cool. Although what you do notice is that um, there are actually a couple things that you notice since you're in the marketplace. Um, you will notice that with the winter year coming, that there are more uh, food stalls mm. trying to sell crop. Uh, because they they know the winter year is coming, right? And so that's less likely when food's going to be able to grow. Um, you'll also notice that um, you'll hear that the prices for anything wood related and uh, winter comforts are at probably a higher rate than usual. Hmm. Pretty standard market stuff. The other thing you will start to notice is there are um, high elven speakers that are on their own pedestals and as you as you kind of like haphazardly li- listen in on them uh they seem to be like preaching words of hope and offering wards against omens and you'll notice they'll be handing off necklaces that have some sort of like tiny little pendant on them can i grab one of these uh yeah you can walk up and take one hey can i get one of those uh yes of course master gnome here Thank you, you are uh, you'll notice that it appears to be some sort of carved tooth. Hmm. I'm just going to stick that in my pocket for right now. Okay. And then keep shopping about. Okay. Can I find any stall selling shields? Shields? Uh, sure, you can find a blacksmith. Okay, cool. Uh, as a matter of fact, mm-hmm. <coughs> can I try and find the same blacksmith where I remember buying... My great sword when it was just a great sword. Make a investigation check. Oof. Nine. Nine? It takes you some time, um, because the stalls keep changing the the routes yeah. uh, along the street are kind of different so it takes you a bit of time to remember where exactly you uh, you're looking for but you have a rough idea of where it is and you do eventually find the smithy that forged and sold you your great sword right as the going oh hello there hello master gnome Thank you. how are you i'm doing fine that is very fine. What can I do you for? Uh, I was just uh, looking to buy a shield. Uh, yes, we have many shields. What kind of shield are you looking for? Uh, something I can handle in my size and something that will keep me from getting hit with sharp objects. Hmm, and the dwarf will stroke his beard. I think I have a mighty fine shield for you, someone like you. And he pulls out a shield and it's, it's, um, it's a rounded bottom that has a crescent top. Oh. Oh. And it's uh it's slightly smaller 
uh, than a, like a medium sized shield would be. All right. I think this will do you just fine. I think that would. Okay. Hold on. I apologize. I knew you were going to do this and I didn't uh -oh. <laughs> find certain information ahead of time. That's okay. It happens. <clears throat> boop, 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 boop. That will be 15 gold, if you don't mind. Not a problem. I just reach into my pouch and I pull out 15 gold. Okay. Yeah. Which I promptly hand over. Of course. He hands and, uh, the shield. I got one question. I? Do you, uh, you happen to remember forging, uh, I'm just gonna hold my hand out to the side where it's safe. Mm -hmm. This. Boom. <laughs> it was, oh! Ah. <laughs> uh, no. We don't. Are you... Are you, are you one of those sword so many people? <laughs> I, those <laughs> weapon so many people? I, I guess I am. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. I thought I bought this here, but I'm my eyes are kind of bad. Can you please hand it? I'm actually going to hand it over. Okay, to him. He, he puts up both hands. You put it in his hands. <laughs> his like arms drop to the floor. Oh, and he's like. <laughs> And he takes it over to, like, the counter and... Ugh! I'm gonna look at my own arm. <laughs> Either you are very strong, Master Gnome, or this weapon is... only enchanted to you. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna look around the shop for a heavy object. Mm -hmm. And okay. try and pick up any heavy object I can see, uh, like, You a... find a mall that is definitely not for your size. Okay, I try to pick it up. Uh, make a strength check. Oof. With a disadvantage. Oof. Twelve. Twelve? Uh, no. You you can't even lift it out of the rack. I don't think I'm that strong. Well, based on what I can see, and he pulls out some glasses and takes a closer look. Ah, uh, this ain't any of my kind of making. Uh, it's some fancy stuff. I was real worried about that. Oh? I bought it here. A couple years ago. Oh, I can say for sure you didn't buy this from our smithy shop. I've been working here for 30 years, and I've been off the anvil for five. Yeah. Uh, I think I bought it here, but not in this time. This makes no sense, does it? Whatever you're drinking, <laughs> keep oh, on I'm drinking. I'm my magic bag. Okay. Okay. And take your sword with you. Not. Nah. I uh, am I, but I, a I, humble smithy, I, and I want I, nothing to do. I'm gonna point this out. You do good work. I appreciate it. I'm just as confused as you are. I'm just gonna close my. I'm gonna look at the sword on the bench. I'm just gonna close my hand. Yeah. You just... <laughs> Uh, you have a nice day. You as well. I'm just going to leave the smithy. You, you'll leave and you take a glance back and he's like rubbing <laughs> his forehead. <laughs> okay. Can I can I find a soul selling magical items? Uh, sure. What are you looking for? Immovable rods. Okay. Make me an investigation check. Oh boy. Sorry, I had to I had to determine I had to look up what it was. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. That was a uh let me double check because I can't actually remember any of my skills anymore. That yeah, was a it six. Been a while for some reason. Six? Uh you search for a while and you can't you can't find any merchant that seems to be selling it. Okay. Uh, can I find a healer's kit, though? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to go... Uh, the first shop that I actually see selling healer's kits... Okay. I would like to buy two. Uh, 20 gold. Woo! Worth it. Alright. And with that shopping out of the way, I would actually like to return back to Evan's place. Okay. Oh! I'd buy a ham on the way. 
You buy a ham? I buy a ham. Buy a ham. I buy a ham. That will be five silver. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> okay. And Round Pip arrives back in. As you walk up to the door, um, you see Paul. Hi. Good evening, Master Gnome, Master Round Pip. Good evening. You uh, want it again? I'm good morning. Play. It's good morning. It, it is morning. Oh, it's still morning, ain't it? Yes. I'm just used to hearing that at all times today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just going to unbuckle the scabbard for my short sword off my belt, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to gently hang it on the wall. Okay. So it is still, like, like late af- early afternoon or something like that? It's early, uh, late morning. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh... Would you like me to prepare the ham for you, oh, Master Oh, if you don't mind, that would be awesome. Of course. Thank Your you. Your friends are in the sitting room. Ah, thank you. I will move to the sitting room. Okay. And he walks away to the kitchen. And in the sitting room, uh, Evan will be coming down his stairs. <laughs> super excited about what he's done. And uh, you two will find Vimic and a water genasi. In your sitting room. It's like, good morning! <laughs> How common are Ganassis of any kind in this world? Ganassi are not very common. They exist, they're just not very common to see. Okay. Um, typically, you will find, in in the area that you guys are in, you will tip- typically find water and uh, earth Ganassi. Is anybody else in the house right now, or do, do I just see them? You just see them. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna toss the book in the air, have my immortal hole onto it, and I'm going to wander. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wander the kitchen. I'm just gonna I'm gonna pass by by both of you. It's like good morning. It's like oh man, you couldn't believe the night I, I had. I'm gonna get some like various food and bread. It's like cheese. It's like so. <laughs> so I gave up the book, and now I have a new book, as you can see. And then <laughs> she's like. It's like as you can see, and I put a whole bunch of spells, new spells in it, and it is just—it's like I cannot wait to show you guys, guys, what's going on. It's like, it's like, who are you? I'm Lorelai. Uh, Who's she? It's like, what? Why are oh, you? This yeah. is my new friend. Oh yeah, Brown Pip also a gnome, also walks into the same hey. room. Hello. <laughs> a, a gnome wearing a wolf pelt, a breastplate. Isn't it bear pelt? Yeah, bear pelt. No, he also has a wolf pelt. Okay, okay cool. I switched. Oh. I wanted to switch to the bear pelt as I woke up. Okay. Oh, okay. Or the wolf pelt. Got it, gotcha. Okay. Well, pe- bear pelt is currently in the guest room. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. A pelt for every day, a day of the week. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, there's ham. Mm-hmm. Uh, two, uh, we gotta talk about a... Uh, things are kind of weird out now, like, uh, there might be some people... Are you just talking to me in another language? I, yeah, actually, I will start speaking in Gnomish. Yes, thank you. Uh, Wait, do I speak Gnomish? <laughs> do you speak Gnomish? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> uh, it'll be over on the on main your page. first page. Yeah. <clears throat> no. Damn it! <laughs> I wanted to eat shop. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, there might be some people looking for us. Why would there be people looking for us? Uh, I'll say in common. Which I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't speak common, but uh, he says gnomish. <laughs> gnomish. <laughs> but we kind of pissed off a crime lord. Uh, oh yes. Now continuing in gnomish. Uh, yes. We also killed a lich. No, oh, that guy's dead. Uh, his friends might not be. Uh. We also got ambushed by a bunch of elf assassins. And we're kind of in a city where I saw a bunch of high elf activity going on outside. We're in a big city. Yeah. It's bound to be high elves. They're uh, not all bad. I, I... God, you're <laughs> racist like God. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, kind of besides the point here. Uh, out. Did, do we know she's not spying on us? I'll glance over to Loyalai momentarily. Hey, uh, I'm good. Gonna... No. I'm often picking up things and breaking them, so that's probably what I'm doing right yeah, now. She's, oh, by the way, she's I'm like, what's she's this? She's wondering the essence of state, seeing something cool, and go, oh, and I'm like, oh, oh shit, this? and then like, so, so I look at fingers. her. Yeah, I look at her, and at that moment, something. She, falls she drops. She ends up dropping a vase. Goes, oh, no. 
like I'll look back. chicken oh, no, on the couch. The wrong thing. Now she has to, now she has now she has to work for us to pay off her debt <laughs> in our host club that we run. Kiss, kiss, oh my god, no. <laughs> New story! We are not dealing with anime so, boys. So yes, Vimic, Vimic looks animals. over I look uh, over. casually to the water genasi. She's picking up a vase and immediately drops it because Butterfingers, and now he's looking back at you. Paul! <laughs> no, I do not. But look at her! I, Paul comes over and... She's uh, not an elf. With a, with a, a sweep and, and scoop and immediately scoops up the things and walks away. <laughs> Oof. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> No, I know for sure that's Ferk. Hey, hey, Evan. <laughs> I'm gonna start speaking calm again. Hey, Evan. Hmm. You, you remember that thing we did with Kachun? Yeah. Can you do that again real quick? Nope. <laughs> did I understand that? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, that okay. was in common. Okay, I hold grudges until the end of my days. Okay. So... <laughs> no, no, don't worry, don't worry. It wasn't anything bad. It was like, I was able to, like, force somebody to tell the truth, but, like, not without, you know, like, stabbing them, right? That is bad. <laughs> stabbing them or anything? Um, no, and it, it, no, it was, it was like, it was, it was, it was like a holy thing going on, but no, I can't do that anymore. I love that Evan goes from full mouth southern to swallows food back to British. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, yeah, no offense, don't take anything personally. Uh, there's a lot of people who try to kill us, so where I'm just kind of trying to make sure my brother didn't bring a weird stranger into the house who might try and murder us in our sleep. But look at her! She's so f cute! <laughs> I pat her. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> no! <laughs> I wouldn't kill you, I need all of you for a quest. That too! Oh, I mean right! She said something about the facets of virtue! <laughs> the, the gears start turning in Rompip's head. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, I'll give a summarized version of what she said to me. With her helping, I'm like interjecting as well. With if she wants to. <laughs> yeah, so she, uh, Vimic will summarize that she's on a family vision quest to procure the facets of virtue. Yes, Master Rompip. <laughs> yeah. How do I know any of that's true? Hmm. Do I have any, like, anything, like, any maps or anything like that to help me prove, like, I, need, I know where I need to go? Because I know that she's really good with maps and direction and survival. Um... Anything for my dead parents or family or anything like that? That I'm like, my parents died for this. Oh no, she's Batman. <laughs> no, I thought she was Batman. Yes. No, me. Evan's parents are... We, we said your your armor was the one with the, excuse me, enchantment on it, right? You... Oh, hold on. Medium armor. Yeah, she has a plus one on her scale. Yeah. Mail. So your scale mail uh, dons an emblem um, of the water tribe, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which you guys have legends about the uh, elemental crystal of which supposedly your people came from. Okay. And it's it's kind of known if you know a water genasi, they they revere this. Thing as their kind of god. Okay. Okay. So I show you the emblem on my chest and explain that I've lost most of my family to to chasing after this. These what are they called? Facets of virtue. Facets of virtue. Can we make a like a history or arcana check on the or religion check maybe on the emblem to see? You if... can make a <clears throat> religion check with an advantage. Okay. Because you have the bottle of the acolyte. Okay. Nat 20. Nat 20? Oh, no. um, then yes, you would know that Water Genasi uh, all share... The, the symbol is not, like, completely exact and detailed. It's more of a, like, a abstract, like, pattern mm -hmm. that is similar to a wave. <laughs> uh, but has... Uh, the only distinct thing that each one has is a blue gem that's at its center. And you know that all, any water genasi that you have come across have this symbol on them 
in some way, shape, or form, whether that's as a necklace, as an earring, <coughs> or hand as a ring on their like arm as part of a armband. Just and they have it somewhere. Okay. It's like well, I can confirm. I can confirm the uh, the symbol. She is from she is from a particular uh, water tribe. Uh, or she took that off someone who is. Hmm. Okay, I look like a water genasi though. I, I'm like see through and blue. Or hear me out now. Yeah. We trust her because I have a good feeling about this. Or that too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to prove I'm a water genasi more than being water. <laughs> uh, you do have spell-like abilities that are unique to genasi. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and we have and we have some more. We have some so more. You can, you can uh, I mm -hmm. believe you can create and destroy. Go to uh, features. Admittedly, uh, I don't think sheet. the question is: Is she a water genasi? Is if is if she's not working for somebody else? Yes. Yeah. That's, yes, but I, I figured that in her mind, she's like, but I am a water genasi. Here, let like, me prove it to you. Please leave me. Uh, in what your racial traits. Acid resistance, amphibious, swim, and call to wave. I can create or just cast, create, or destroy water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay. does she have, she would have zone of truth. What, you're, 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 you're a, you're, what, what's your, what was your other one? You're That's a if she has a paladin. Paladin. She's a, yes, she's a paladin cleric. I know, I know. It's like, it's like, okay. Um, so first off, what can you do exactly? It's like I see that you have your armor on. Are you a fighter of sword, or are you something else? Or because we've got we've got things going on ourselves. I mean, it's like uh, Vimic here is uh, he, he, he's a, he's a ranger of. No, I am Vimic, yes. and he's all he's also a capable uh, bringer of storms, in a literal sense. So. Yes. So what about you? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I'm from, I'm going to say Northern Water Tribe because I can't remember their name. So uh, you're that... from the, no just, uh, you're from the Northlands. Okay. I'm from the Northlands and I fought my whole way here with a flail and a s shield. Okay. I'm good at fighting right. and I'm good at defending. Okay. <clears throat> so Do you know what he totals? Do I? Make a insight check. With what? D20. D20. And you're going to compare your, your roll. I like that I've made Vimic paranoid of turtles. <laughs> I don't know. It somehow makes me really giddy. Yeah. Evan is now, Vimic is now racist. That little, that little, uh. You sound a little bit racist. Not gonna lie. <laughs> that little, that little, that little friendly tor tor turtle lady that we keep seeing just shows up. Oh, hello. Would you like a cookie? Vimic punch. 15? 18. That's 18. an 18 on the die. 18 plus anything? Uh, plus insight, right? Mm-hmm. So insight skill. So that's a plus two, so that's unnatural 20. Okay. Uh, yes, you've met a couple of turtles in your life, and they've all been really friendly and very wise. And cute. They sound cute. And cute. Yes. That's, she uses that word too. <laughs> and cute. <laughs> you can make an insight check. That, not with her die. <laughs> uh, do I... Oh. Do you want to make an insight check too? Yes. Uh, okay. That's an eight. Eight? <laughs> uh, you're definitely pretty sure she's telling the truth. Yeah, I was a four. That's a low DC. Uh, <laughs> you're also pretty sure she's telling the truth? That's a really low DC. <laughs> but like, so... Because she's telling the truth? So do you get your, do you get your powers from anything in specific or, or particular, aside from just being a, a Ganassi? Like, what else can you do? Cause... Or like, how did you find us? I had visions from the time I was a child about three figures and you all three matched. And then she met me in the park. I did. Dorzul likes her. <laughs> Dorzul nudges up what her. What else can I do? Help me. You can do anything. You know what I mean? What oh. can I do? Uh, you can cast any of those right now if you want. I just so something. that's, there's that. Ugh. Create or destroy water, misty oh, step. Oh. Sorry, I know it's taking a minute. It's like, do, you serve, do you serve any kind of god or do you serve a... Hi, some higher purpose, power. Do uh, you want me to answer for yes. you? Okay, so that way you can read. <laughs> yes. um, so she will iterate that she is... Um, she has... experienced something strange in her life. Um, yeah. A couple... about a month and a half ago. Um, some... <laughs> Strain. Uh, she came upon some strange water, and upon touching it, 
uh, was pulled in suddenly, and she fell uh, she fell asleep for a couple of for a couple of days and woke up finding that she had new knowledge of things. So on top of taking an oath of <laughs> harmony, which is something that her family has done for many generations, which is the homebrew oath that I have given her, um, she has also found that uh, she has a knack for um, pulling and giving life. So if she experienced the same liquid that, she, that, that, we, that we'd experience... Vimic is low-key, high-key freaking out. <laughs> she, might, she, she might actually be able to do the thing that I was able to do to Kashun. Because she has to be affected by it too. Because she's affected by it too. Rumpet! Yeah. Do you hear this? Rumpet! Yeah. I thought we were friends. No! Yes! <laughs> yes! Rumpet! <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing a lot of things. Yeah, yes, maybe maybe the give liquid her... run pip, the liquid. Yes, maybe give her a day, give her a chance to prepare the ability if she doesn't have it already prepared for herself. Because I had to do that, and then and then. Go... And don't why do I think want that proves anything? Why do I want her to confirm what she's telling me? You wanted her to confirm what she was telling you. You asked why is she here? Who does she work for? You asked her what you wanted her to wanted her to confirm. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure she's not lying, so I'm not gonna exactly trust a stranger to tell me that they're not lying. What could I do to prove to you that I'm not lying? She could cast a spell, the zone of truth that I, that, that, that I perform on everybody else. If she does that, I am going to tell you is guys- that, Is that your aura? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's an it's area of effect. It's an area of effect. Yeah. Oh. I'm actually trying to find it for her, uh, but I think it's actually in the list of spells that you happen to randomly grab. Zone of truth. Yes. Oh, uh -huh. so you do have it prepped. Yeah. Okay, so I do. So you can cast it. What level spell of it is it? Um, second. Yes. Second level. Second level. Um, okay. You know what? We won't mark it on your spell list. Just keep in mind that- you used it. Used the spell. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if we all, so yeah, so if we all get to, well, okay. So you might, so you might know exactly what I'm talking about. So if we all get together, and we'll all probably end up admitting something we never wanted to admit, and <laughs> that might that, and if that doesn't confirm 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 uh, that she is telling the truth because you were forced to tell the truth, then yeah. Yes. Okay. So I cast Zone of Truth. Okay. Um, I tell you, I am being true with my quest, and I need all three of you to complete it. Yep. So she she goes about the is it a ritual? It is not a ritual. It's just kind of a thing that happens. And we're all standing in the zone. Yes, and you all know that it happens. It's kind of okay. like it's kind of like she she does a certain hand gesture, says a couple of arcane word uh, arcane words, and a blue uh, a soft blue light kind of okay. emits from her, and she tells you exactly that. As soon as I'm she's done saying that, cast. I say, I really miss the... I really miss the the pretty storm lady. <laughs> when I, it's like, when I went to... <laughs> when I... <laughs> uh, <aw. laughs> like, Was that Sammy? Yes and no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I, when it's like, when I went to... It's like, when I traveled to... When I traveled to the to the Far East to train with Ed, with, with Ed I did sleep with a number of women, and, I, and I, I did catch something that I don't think is called the style, but it is... It was itchy for a good while. <laughs> I can believe that. Maybe no. <laughs> I'm going to have Will cast Detect Magic. Okay. Uh, do I? Can I see where how far the zone is going? Uh, no. Uh, well, I mean. Also, it says such 15 a... foot around you guys, centered a, on her. Okay. A creature can be evasive in its answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth. That's true. Yeah. So, like, you these, don't have these to two are just being funny. Yeah. 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 But in case you needed to know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. What what are you, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to use detect magic mm -hmm. to figure out where the actual edge of this effect it really is. The edge of the I what? make sure everyone's actually standing inside of it. Yeah, it's it's 15 feet. Okay. Foot radius. Yeah. Okay. So everyone everyone and his mother are in the zone of truth. Oh, oh shit! What does mom say? <laughs> Nothing. She doesn't know what's going on. She's busy okay. working down in your basement. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I'm. You, I'm... Your detect magic goes off. You uh, detect some minor magics below. Uh, you detect magic coming off of her armor, coming off of his armor. Uh, you detect magic at his hands. You kind of see the aura of truth go around everyone. Okay. I mean, you still saw it go around everyone, anyways, because it, that it appeared in front of you guys. Okay. 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 
Okay. Yeah. So now you trust me? Rump More. doesn't really trust anybody. As much as a, as a, a gnome can. That Damn. sounds pretty racist. One, <laughs> <laughs> One specifically carrying an enchanted item that makes him paranoid. Yes, he has though. Yeah. Okay. Um, Paul will come in having overheard you guys. Can I detect any magic on Paul? No. He is unenchanted. Huh. He, just he comes in and goes... You know, in a zone like this, you don't have to speak anything. I needed to prove a point, and it doesn't itch anymore. I, I think you could have told us that yes. outside, and we would have believed it. That is because of the ointment that I gave you. <laughs> Are we, can I still the see the ham is done? Can I still see the aura on the butler? Uh, yeah, it lasts for ten minutes. I am no, I, I am, I'm learning a little too much. How about we get? Let's just eat the ham. I don't really want him. <laughs> Is that the truth? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what he meant you... to say that ham would be delicious. What would you like, Master Vimic? A nice salad. Ah! Uh! <laughs> right? I can prepare a nice salad for you. Salad. <laughs> Thank With you. A wonderful vinaigrette. <gasps> You're the best. Why, thank you, Master Vimic. And he gives you a, a light wink. Oh! <laughs> you, can take that, you can take that however you want. Um, that vinaigrette's gonna be salty. <laughs> oh, no. Why, man? Hey, no. He's in the zone of truth! <laughs> That's so, not a truth! <laughs> so, it's a truth to Evan's character. And what Evan's character is, is a perv. <laughs> There so we've come to find out. <laughs> nice! Um, <laughs> oh god. Okay, so you guys spend a uh, hour or two eating. Nice meal. Wonderful salad. Vinaigrette is not salty. Thank god. <laughs> um, okay. Let me show you the things I've learned. The things I've, scri I, I, I've, I've scribed down. That I'm, I'm, I, I can say that because I'm not a scribe anymore. It's like, okay, okay, okay. Oh! Uh, it's like, what are you going to write in your book this time? Oh, no, this is, uh, uh, I've already written everything I'll show you, like, just pages and pages of stuff I've written. Looks, all, some with stamps on, on, on them and, and the Looks script. like the same book to me. Nah. Yeah, yeah, the other one's bad. The other one's from the book, but I'm pretty sure Vim... Now, nah, the other looked a bit different. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, so, what did you do with the other one? Um, the other one I gave back? Uh, uh you... Yes, the big, the big, the big, uh, the big immortal god creature thing that gave me the book in the first place, uh... Its council took it back from me, and so now I've I've written my own book, and I and I can do some interesting things. What anybody like to see? Uh, you know, two months ago that would have made no sense, but I believe you. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. but can't believe our our friend who's appeared in the park. I would uh, like to see. Yes, of course. One <laughs> All right. So, uh, Master Evan. Yes, I would like to remind you that casting anything within the household is not advised. Alright, we'll go, we'll go out to the garden, we'll go out to the garden. I like, don't think that ended well last time either. No, no, don't worry, it doesn't have anything to, to do with my mortal. This is all stuff that I've learned. So, stuff that I've been trying to, like, create, and, uh, I don't, I don't know if it's maybe the clash Oh, or... boy. Yes. Here we go. Okay. Alright, <laughs> right, come, right, come on, come on. It's, this, it's, stuff... like a, is this normal? Entirely between father and son. <laughs> <laughs> Explains a lot. <laughs> that it does. It's like, don't worry, no, nothing big or flashy. Just something, well, maybe big, but not flashy. Well, maybe flashy, but still. Come on, come on, come on. And I'll uh, uh, gesture everybody into the backyard. He leads you into the backyard. The backyard's proper. <laughs> okay. Who the, would... the, the tree is not burning, uh, but is Joyous. There, and the fountain is still destroyed, but the rubble's no longer there. Joyous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna stand back a bit. I have a quick Could, question. Yes. Even though I have already decided that Dorzul likes Lorelai, how does Dorzul see Lorelai? Dorzul sees Lorelai. Lorelai. But, like, Lily. how? Like, because she's technically... Because she's technically human. Uh, humanoid. She's not made of water, nor is she actually translucent. transparent. She's translucent. Okay. Okay. Got it. So, I mean, I guess in, in Dorzel's vision, she kind of appears uh, darker, void-ish, but okay. not, not enough to 
completely put her off guard. Got it. Hmm. Cool. Okay. All right. So, who wants to be a volunteer warlock? Volunteer for what? Uh, one of my one of the spells that I, that, that I've uh, transcribed. What well, I guess I'll do it. All right. Uh, here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm going into my bag. I just bought this. I'm gonna pull out my healer's kit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. What do you cast? So me? first off, I'm going to what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's like uh, I'll take a I'll take I'll, I'll reach, into, reach into a little sack with with some. Uh, iron powder. It's like, hey, Rob Pitt, have you ever wanted a, a little brother? And I'll, I'm will i gonna just dust it, dust it on, to- on you and cast Reduce. I got like eight. And you've gone from, and you've gone from a medium-sized creature to a small. <laughs> and, you, and you're now about as tall as Ron Pitt is. <laughs> you're now about three feet tall. Uh, he's What'd three, you do? three and a half feet tall. It's like, that is called Reduce. No, no, no. What'd you reduce? You! What? <laughs> and, we're, and I'm gonna. Should, haven't, you, haven't you noticed that you're looking up at me now? Uh. He's lost his perception because he Dor- Dorzel's like at your face now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your armor and everything has ha- has shrunk to your size. Has shrunk to that size as well. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to put him back before we go home. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> to, yes. it's, it, it only lasts for a little bit. And it's and um and in fact I'm the one who actually focuses on whether or not it actually dissipates and it's it's a concentration and it lasts for a minute but I'm going to immediately that was a in-game way to explain yes. that spell <laughs> yeah so um and so we're gonna let a minute pass and then I spent an entire minute as a yeah you small yeah, actually creature. yeah what would you like to do within that minute now that you're a, a gnome side I play the I play with Dorzul like crazy <laughs> <laughs> like yeah you 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 like <laughs> wrestle her. I like, try like and write dogs. her for the first time. You I, can actually write I her. I try and write her for the you first time. You write her. You, you kind of <laughs> roll me and handle animal check. Because she doesn't have a have a saddle on. I'm so happy I decided to do that. Oh so my good. god. Oh, what is that? An 18. Oh, 15. Ooh. Ooh. 15? Ooh. That's an unnatural 20. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. No, Ooh. you you hop on and it's natural. <gasps> it's exactly how you wanted it. Uh. If you weren't normally a giant Goliath. Yes. And you 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 ride her around the garden for a hot minute, and then <laughs> your feet stop you. And she <laughs> runs out from under you. She turns around, kind of like confused, and then oh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Aha! I thought I, I thought I heard that. Fuck! Did I not? No, I know I heard that. See, I told you, he, he just goes off and curses. You two are to, totally fine. That's good. I, I'm, I know, we don't use any of that fucking I'm, language. I'm not gonna, 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 I'm Experimenting yeah. and, and demonstrating. Yeah, pretty much just kind of showing off. So I'm gonna, so after the minute, it's like, you know, I want to get off, go, get off right now, get off right now. I, and then you were listening. <laughs> and then, okay, and then you, and then you, you, you turn back into normal size Vinic, and then it's like, and romp it. It's like, would you mind? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> then instead, uh, hmm. What can we do next? What can I do next? What can I do next? Um, was the other one enlarge? Yes. It's like, would you, it's like, I can do the same thing, I can do, I can enlarge you as well. Would you like to? Uh, I think someone in the market was offering me to do that already. <laughs> but it's... <laughs> it's like... that, that's just what he says. So he doesn't want. Uh, it's like, so one of the flaws of Vimic is that he doesn't quite understand his size in the first place. Okay. So that's You're, why he as didn't... far as yeah, as far as his his little mind has gone, shrinking him has been like, oh, yeah, pretty much. He doesn't understand that he's big. He is the exact thing you expect when you give when uh, a great day. They all <laughs> think they're lap dogs. Right? Uh-huh. Did you ever see uh, Elf with Will Ferrell? Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, that is what it is, isn't it? Um, Help. Hip. Hip. Um, and so, okay, Thanks. another thing I like, like one of you to do, I'd like you to attack me. I want to fight you. Ha. Hey. I'll fight you. Okay, then. Okay. okay. Hell yeah. Hey. Hell yeah. All right. How yes. do I do it? All right, come at me. Just, just, just uh, you, okay. you, you, use you, that, you, use that flail. You pull out her, your flail. And okay. uh, make an attack roll. You roll a d20 and then add your, yep. uh, on your... Go back uh, to your character sheet. Character sheet. 
in um, actions. Yeah, go back to the main page. So Perfect. where it says so two hit, flail? you add that to your d20. Plus yeah. four. To hit. 18? That's an 18 on the dice. Okay. So 22. That definitely hits. <laughs> no, no, okay. What I was, um, Don't roll damage. <laughs> well, first off, what I was going to do was, um, before he attacked, I was going to bonus action. Um, add, yeah. the, add, add uh, actually, every day I, I, I give myself, um, I give myself inertia armor, so that's my, my, my armor class is 16. Um, doesn't save against the 22. I'm going to give, I'm going to, I'm going to bonus my, bonus action also give myself 18 plus, uh, use, uh, tough hide to give myself 18. And then, um, so once you make the, the attack, shield, which, 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 which adds, a, adds a plus five to my armor class, make, giving it 23. Didn't you say your AC was 20, uh, 16? Um, I added I had a tough hide, which adds an, another, another plus two, making it 18. Oh. And then I cast shield, giving me a plus five to my AC as well, making it 23. Can you do mm-hmm. all that in the same action? Well, I, I'm good. It was okay if I, if I prepped all that before she attacked me. Uh, I mean, just so I can prove a point. <laughs> I, Technically no, damn. but we'll go ahead and let it anyways because you went through all those words yeah. just to say it. <laughs> okay, all those and, words. I, yeah, I'm so. not gonna lie. I kind of wanted you to go through all those words just to say it for Gunther to be like, no, she hits you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, she had no <laughs> word, She had no idea she was supposed to wait. And you just take a flail to the face. Yeah, that's, but, that's honestly what I thought would happen. Is is the because because you weren't expect actually no yeah <laughs> unfortunately we're not gonna let you iron hide <laughs> or tough hide. Okay. Uh, you're gonna do exactly what you thought you were gonna do, which is cast shield. Twenty one, <laughs> and and she comes in with a full on swing and shatters your shield and hits you Shit. for what how many damage? damage? This one. Uh, yeah. the D eight. This one? No. Uh, this one. No, because honestly, it's just <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's just uh, as funny. The double pyramid. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is D eight, right? Yeah. One. Yeah. One D eight plus one. Eight. Oh. Did you roll max damage? <laughs> she hits you. Nine. She hits you for nine damage, striking you right, uh, <laughs> right on top of the head. <laughs> yeah. Suck it! <laughs> I, I can't math right now. Uh, 50, yeah, fifty. That's that's how much. Okay, that's a number. Okay, cool. So, oh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Um, it was cool though. But you saw the shield. You saw the shield, right? I wasn't looking. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, here, okay, oh, okay. No. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm gonna add bark skin, making it 18. Okay. All right, one more time. One more time. I've got spell slots. All right. Oh, God. So is, is, should I just roll natural this? twenty, uh, guys? Yeah, roll that one. <laughs> Rinse your ass. Uh, two. Two. No! Two plus she- four is six. Mm. I'm gonna cast shield anyway. Yeah, yeah, so you 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 kind of like shake your head and bring it all back and like okay hit me again. She goes for like like a confused like kind of swing, and you shield. It's like I can do that, and I can also do. It's like I can do that, and um, I will take out. Um, it's like uh, Paul, uh, can you get me uh, 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 get me the good charcoal, incense, and herbs, please? If, as long as it costs about 10, 10 gold pieces. Right away. And a brassiere! And a brass brassiere! Yes! Master Evan. Thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> and he'll walk away. Alright. Okay. Like, I'm tired of just going to grab stuff. Oh. I don't do anything. And nope. then he'll come back in about five minutes. Alright, wonderful. Alright, I'll take off. Do all... I just stand there that whole time? Yeah. I, it's like, that was cool, right? <laughs> cool. <laughs> I liked it more when I was winning, but sure. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, okay, you totally could have killed him there. I trust you a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she had two. She had two chances. She had two chances to do that. One, one. She got one, but yeah, no. wait, yeah, yes. I would have been a bit suspicious had she done it. Yes. Uh, Paul, Paul comes back, and here you are, Master Evan. Wonderful. All right, I'll take um, I'll take the brazier. I'll take the um, uh, the brazier. Put in the herbs and charcoal, and then um, energy beam it with fire to light on fire, and I will cast find familiar. Okay. It's like. <sighs> I learned this from an old from, from an old friend a, a long time ago. They say you can summon, uh, it's like familiars. You can summon cats. You can summon a pseudo dragon. You can summon gazers. I'm going to summon, but I have a dragon. And and the smoke will rise and and start enveloping the sky in this like blue, red, purple kind of color swirling. It sparks a little bit. Ah, uh, the same exactly, low key. And then what you hear is, flump. And this little jellyfish kind of what? flies out. What? I, sh- I shouldn't say little. It's a pretty decent-sized jellyfish. 
kind of flies out of the smoke. It's like the size of a cat. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big ass jellyfish. Although, yes. although the, the most distinct thing, though, is it has a mouth and two little stalk eyes. Kind of. He's so cute. Looking around. Ah, uh, what is it? I, I don't know. Does this all have something to do with me? Do I know I, what it is? I actually don't know what this is. Uh, you guys will hear a voice in your heads. Uh. Hello, friends. Oh, uh, good. Hi. Uh, oh, another. Um, another. Uh, wh- where am I? That's, uh, I've been asking myself that question for 25 years, and I think I'm asking it again. <laughs> <laughs> you are in the house. You are on the property of of the Essence household. Hello? Uh, huh? are, you, are you the familiar I summoned? Oh, I, I, think, I think so. Um... What are you? Oh, well, my, my race is called a, a flump. <laughs> and he slowly starts <laughs> drifting downwards. Cause, cause, uh, cause, cause, can we make, can we make this noise? <laughs> oh. <laughs> how do you, how would you spell that? Uh, F-L-U-M-P-H. Flump. <laughs> flump. 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 I love this. He was like... Um, I, I guess you're the master, right, sir? I guess so. Uh, everyone, I'll, this is... I'll examine it. I'll like, come here. Uh, <laughs> if it's made out of, out of water, I love it, and I'm, like, super oh, excited by it. <laughs> so it's cute. It's not, but it is trans- it's transparent like a jellyfish. Okay. Uh, this is... I have to give you a name, don't I? Do you have a name of your own, or...? Uh, I guess I give you a name then. Uh, everyone, this is this is speed wagon. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I, well, how fast is he? How fast are you? No, I actually have to look that up. I don't remember how <laughs> oh, fast the plump can go. I feel like a better name would have been Rio. Well, even if I thought of Morph from Treasure Planet. <laughs> yeah, Morph. <laughs> well, even if it, even if he's not very fast, it's 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 humorous in an ironic way. Get it? Alright, Rio. Yes. Rio. 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 Like just. So this is what a flump yeah. looks like. Oh, it's cute! Oh, I want God. One. <laughs> it is like... I want one. And he, he's doing exactly that. He's got like a couple tentacles like up at his like mouth in an embarrassing fashion. Uh, let me find his speed. Speedwagon's speed is. <laughs> Not that. Speed wagon <clears throat> speed. I'm gonna start examining it. Okay. So, uh, how do you float? With my imagination. I'm going to call. No, okay. I, need to give him a, I need to give him a full name. Speed wagon will be his last name. Uh, his first name will be Caesar. Yes, Caesar Speed wagon. That sounds perfect. Oh my God! No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his. It took <laughs> he actually moves uh, 30 feet, so he'll he'll actually go, Oh, I can move this fast! <laughs> and he goes from here to way over there. 30 feet away. 6 seconds. It's like, oh, he is indeed a speed wagon. Ah, look at that. Alright. Uh, come on back, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I have a companion now. I have a... What do you uh, call that? Are you also uh, moving, by imagi- moving by imagination? And you I know, gesture I'm, toward I'm moving by more immortal? pushing the air through oh. my body. Oh, right! Oh, I'm so uh, sorry, dear. Uh, <laughs> uh, of course. My immortal kind of glares at you. I have a, I have, I have a smaller companion. <laughs> there we go. I, <laughs> Both of you are my I'm companions. Going to look up, I'm, I'm going to look up at him. <clears throat> really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just really. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's no, I'm looking. No, I'm looking up at Evan. Oh, what about Evan? What are you? Oh, oh yeah. Where are also his companions? <laughs> and I am a smaller companion. I have a small animal companion now. Oh, I, I'm not really. An animal, I don't think he's an animal. Know. He's speaking. Oh, yeah. Well, what, what are you then? I'm. Uh, I think my. I think my kind are called aberrations to S- people. Small aberrations. There we go. Something completely different from ah. any and from any of us, including you, including you, immortal. That sounds mean. It probably does. 
But yes, no, I No uh, wonder you made the elves got, like, angry. She's got like <laughs> she's got like four arms and a sword. I wouldn't piss her off. Well she I don't, I don't think uh, well she kind of has a sword, but not anymore. Not not in the way she does she used to. Um or apiar is a sword. She doesn't have any that that was she, I don't have a spiritual weapon. Yeah. Okay. Um but mm, I, she, yeah, okay. I I've got something I've got something new that kind of is the same, but not really. Okay. Uh Okay. Yeah. Uh, so are you just spending the rest of the day demonstrating the uh, cool uh, new yeah. things that you can do? Yes, uh, showing off. I'm, 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 I'm just I, studying yeah. this aberration, trying to figure out exactly how it works. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do everything. He'll tell you. He'll straight up just. Yeah, no, that's. He's actually I'm, a very. I'm just spending the whole time just looking at him, like looking at what he's actually made out of, seeing, you know, asking questions. Yeah, and he gives you all the answers. He's. Uh, are you safe to touch? <clears throat> Let me make sure. <laughs> while, 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 while doing that, I'm gonna ha I'm, I'm gonna have Paul get 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 the material components I need to cast certain rituals and spells. I'm going to cast Lehman's tiny hut, and so I, I basically create. I, I do something, but you don't see me do it. But then I walk forward, and suddenly disappear. Pop in my head, say, "It's like it's a hut. Come on in." Uh, I don't recommend touching. He uh, things kind of melt. Weird. Not really. It's the it's the slime exuded all from my body. <laughs> ah, I love this voice. <laughs> Sounds like Mickey Mouse. A little bit. <laughs> it does. Like an awkward. Oh hi, boys. That should be his voice from now on. Oh. <laughs> yes, perfect. Oh, oh yeah, you you <laughs> shouldn't touch me. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like this anymore. Up, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna, so I cast Liam's tiny hut. I'll. Uh, I'll cast Phantom Steed and create create a flaming purple horse, a large flaming purple horse. It's this quasi real horse like creature. He's just gonna expend all of his spell slots, demonstrating all the wizardly yep. things that he can do now. Oh, um, it would really suck if there was some kind of cliffhanger at the end of the session that we might need our spell slots for. We still have another day. Well, that's fine yeah. because we, we, we're still he downtime. Spent the entire day demonstrating yeah. to you guys everything that happens. Yeah, I love that this is all downtime. Yeah, it's like so we're like, Lorelai, haste and. It's like, go take a jog, and then you'll find yourself running faster than you usually do. That's kind of cruel, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's a little bit cruel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so he, he will spend all day demonstrating for this for you guys, and we'll roll into the next day, yeah. or else Manny's gonna take up the entire yes. session casting spells. No offense, Manny. It's, no, it's fine. I, I, I totally get it. <laughs> Water Ganassi wants to get on this quest. Yes. Uh, we also have a quest we gotta get on. Yes. So we'll roll. We'll 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 roll into day two of downtime, where I want to sell that stuff. Yes, we'll quickly do that. Yes. Okay. So here's what I thought. Uh, you just go through the stuff, and if you have it, it's safe to assume that Actually, I had it, but put it in the bag of holding. Don't worry about that. We'll do that during break. Okay. Sounds good. Because we're, we're gonna. That way we don't. Well, yeah. there is one thing. Uh, while I am out the market district, and we can we can figure out the rest of that, you know, while we're at break, like you said. Um, while I am out at the market district or walking through town, do I see or notice anything that <clears throat> tells me that the uh, shadow snappers, right? Mm -hmm. Shadow snappers are have a presence in the capital. Um, you do make a make a perception check. The disadvantage. Oof. Uh, that's a thirteen. Thirteen. Um, unfortunately, within the area, I shouldn't say unfortunately. Within the area that you go through for the marketplace, because I'm assuming you come out right from the estates and go to like the closest marketplace. Probably. Um, unless you actively go search around town. Uh, the immediate vicinity, you don't see much of any Shadow Snapper activity. Okay. You do know that there are Leather Ton establishments. Leather Back Ton. Uh, leather Back esta establishments ah. within the city. But uh, So I do know that. So I can assume. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I have noticed, though, is while I was wandering around yes. yesterday. Yes. You don't know if there are any Shadow Snapper activities here. You just know that le Leatherback uh, establishments exist here in the Trade City. Would I have passed any? Or have seen one specifically? Yes. Yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Is that it? Yes. 
So is that so is that there's there there's sort of da- downtime for, for the next day? Uh, yes. Okay. Is Can there do... anything specific that you were trying to? Yes, yes. you wanted to visit. Uh, um, um, Lead. Oh. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Um, can I, I, I like spend half that day doing that, but then, um, so if, if you want to roleplay that real quick, so visiting lead first. Okay. Yeah. That's all I'll do first. Okay. So yeah, I'm at the Ze- Zeppelin household. Okay. I will yeah. go with him. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, what, what is Lorelai doing? If anything, other than maybe, I, I don't know. What, are, what, what do you, what do you, what is Lorelai doing? If anything? So we're all at, like, the marketplace? Did I hear that right? In the uh, city. If, yeah. you're, if you're with Vimic, he's wandering around the marketplace trying to sell off all the treasure and crap that he's collected. Okay. Um, Evan and Rompip are going to visit a noble house uh, where his the, the person who was supposed to be eligible for the throne um, was sabotaged. Oh. And heavily injured. And heavily injured. Ooh. I want to get on... My thing, because Water Janasi here is like super angsty and wants to avenge her parents. So I'm offering to help collect maps, food, containers for water, I guess. We might actually need so, your help for, for something specific. Have you prepared a spell called uh, uh, Lesser Restoration at all? Um, Lesser Restoration? Not here. No. No, okay. okay so. Would you like to rewind, I guess? But we do need, need somebody, somebody grave, uh, close to me, gravely injured, needs needs some, uh, needs Wait, some healing. Wait, hold on. Uh, oh. Hold up. Mass healing word. No, as you that's, call that's out. different. Oh, oh. Aid? No, that's... Yeah. No. That's okay. Okay, I tried. Um, <laughs> no heals for you. No, I'm, I'm going to suggest that I mean, you, you still know. have them, but it's just that you don't have the one prepared. I'm going to suggest that you had come with me, uh, especially if you wanted to try and gather some supplies. Um, and I will, if you do that, uh, inform you and uh, let you know about everything that we've gone through. Yes. Sounds good. So that we're all on the same page. I'll stick with you. Okay, okay cool. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Wonderful. Cool. I so that's, that. that's our walk and talk as I, I fill you in on everything. Cool. Yeah. So Vimic will relay his entire adventure <laughs> from start to finish, from, from the start of literally session one, where he went and founded the town, all the way up to this point. And so he would he would have also let you know that there's an elven invasion that's coming upon uh, coming soon upon the town, mm-hmm. and um, how it relates to our knowledge of the facets of virtue. Right. Oh. Um. So you can use that knowledge that their current quest is to fit someone to the throne so that they can form an army mm. um and how you want to relate that to your quest as well is up to you okay so the elves in this are bad guys well the no moon, the sun elves or high elves okay there's a there's a there is a nation of high elves mm-hmm. that is trying to invade the rest of the continent yes so Using the fat it's a virtue as a powerful weapon. So that is that one country's doing. What individual people from it are up to is their own will, essentially. Yes. So uh, it's not that there are high elves around, and you would have passed several uh, by several of them. So it's not necessary that every high elf is evil. Mm-hmm. It's just there's an impending invasion coming from the high elven homeland. So you don't know which one of them are nice and not. Right. Okay. Gotcha. 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 You think all of this will make for a great like book or story or play mm-hmm. perhaps <laughs> yeah but then we're just three idiots <laughs> are we on the uh, and a lot of <laughs> uh so yeah you guys go to uh, house zeppelin zeppelins and you meet your but before we go in yes i'm going to take that uh necklace i got from the high elf speaker mm-hmm. and is there a rock or something for me to leave it behind before we head into the building uh, make an investigation check. I said at the beginning of the day I cast inertia oh. armor, so I've got inertia armor for eight hours. So, yeah. Cool. <clears throat> Jeez, I need to get off the mobile. Uh, that is a 23. Uh, yes, you'll find a convenient rock that you can place this under. Okay, and then I will head in. Okay. 
So, knock on the doors of the Zeppeli estate. Okay. It's like, oh, hello. Do I recognize this person? Uh, it's their uh, maiden servant. Oh, don't know her. Old, old lady. Don't know her, her name? Uh, we'll go with Marie. It's like, Marie, is that you? Uh, it's, it's Evan from House Essence. Oh, hello, Evan. How are you? I'm doing just fine. I'm f I heard, though, unfortunately, that... Uh, what's his name again? Lead. Lead. That uh, Lead isn't doing so well. Mm, no. May I come... May, may, may me and my friend come inside to see him? Oh, of course. Of Hello. course. Yes. Come on inside. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> and she leads you inside. Yes. The house, for the most part, is empty. Not necessarily in furniture, but, like, there's no it's family quiet. home. Yeah, yeah, it's very quiet. Is everyone... Is the entire family out? Oh, yes, they're, they're all on business. Oh. It's like, and so you're the only one taking care of lead? Mm -hmm. All right. That's unfortunate. Among other doctors and healers. Oh, jeez. Maybe we should have brought a hand. Uh, <laughs> we can send a hand later. Yes, let's, let's do that. <laughs> uh, all right, um, can we go see him? Oh, of course. He's upstairs in his room. If you remember from your childhood. I think I, I think I do. Yeah. Thank, thank you again, Marie. Oh, like... Of course. Right, if so... you need anything, you know, let's holler over. It's like, <laughs> it's like we'll, we'll do. Thank you. So, I'm going to head upstairs. Mm -hmm. Does it look pretty much, the place is pretty much the same as I remember? Um, Other than the lack of toys, yes. Okay, cool. All right, uh, I find his room. Doll. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... You'll find a, uh, you'll find a very pale and sickly looking Led Zeppelin. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> sitting in his, uh, laying in his bed. Too his real breathing sounds hoarse. Uh, he has a swollen black eye. His face seems to be, like, an amalgamation of bruises. Is he awake? Uh, he, he, yes, but he seems to be giving a, like, a thousand yards there. Oh. It's like... It's like, Lead? Lead? Evan? Yeah, yeah. Is, is that you? <laughs> yeah, it is, bud. Oh. So, what does the other guy look like? <laughs> oh, geez. oh, geez. oh, no. Hey. Can you heal? I forget if you can heal or not. Uh, now. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I can heal with sword. I don't think you want that. I, I held my buddy's guts in for three days, but that was about it. Oh jeez. Okay. I probably should have visited him before I got, before I gave up this gave up the book. I don't have anything in here that can. I don't. I I think they've. No. I'm gonna kind of whisper. No. I'll still worry. Got money. I'm sure they've hired Don't worry yourself. Uh, we've tried so many healers. So many doctors. Does he have a blanket on him? Yeah. Uh, can I? It's like, may I uh, take a take a look? I mean, he can't stop you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, uh. So you'll you'll carefully remove the robes, and you'll get this wafting scent of uh, 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 rotting flesh. Infection. Infection. Oh, jeez. Like, like pus, bodily fluid, uh, uh, like stinky bodily what? fluid. What? It, it seems like he's been stuck in that state for a while. What What's the Zeppelin's main sort Um... Rise to power? What did they do again? What made them so rich? And um... They... They, um... You know, that's that's a funny thing that you ask. <laughs> uh, of, all, of all the families oh. that I had planned, <laughs> for some reason I didn't plan them. Um... We'll go ahead and say that they were gem makers. Oh, okay. they were they were very fanciful uh, gem makers after after the Arcadian Wars okay. ended. It's like your family owns several mines across the country, makes sells thousands of dollars worth of gems, and they can't get you decent decent healers that can get rid of this smell. Ah, oh, jeez, they really did a number on you, didn't they? Uh, what can I tell based on everything that I can see? What Make kind a medicine check. Medicine. Can I help him with that? Yes, please. Sure. So. That's, I got an 11. Uh, Manny can roll with an advantage. Oh, that was a 5. Yeah, roll with advantage. So. That was a 12. 
12. So total is 18. 18. Oh. Um, you'll notice that uh, none of the skin is broken. It all seems to be internal Oof. in some way. It doesn't seem like poison. It's. It literally seems like he was beaten from the inside. inside. Oh boy. Whether that's possible in in your mind is. I can do a lot of things. I can't do this, but seen a cup. Seen since I've been gone for the past couple of years, I've seen a lot of things that can do impossible things. When I find out whoever did this, I'm going to pay them back tenfold. You have my word. I'm just gonna have a menacing aura around me. <laughs> in that case, just, you that, have that my word. shadow, yes. that stark shadow yes. contrast <laughs> across your eyes. You have my word. I'm going to pay back whoever did this to you in tenfold. Uh, speaking of whoever did it, uh, I hate to ask questions like this, but sometimes we gotta. I should probably introduce myself. I'm his bodyguard. Yes, this is uh, <laughs> make a deception check. <laughs> really, <laughs> this is Master Rompit from. <laughs> Why is it the only rolls I actually get well? 18. That's 18? Actually, that's pretty easy. Okay. This is Master Ron Pippa, warrior from uh, Thimbleville. Seasoned veteran. So I, I've rules. also investigated two murders. Yes. He, me and him, me and him have been, been through quite a lot. Just a second. Okay. Did you have something you wanted to ask him? Uh, about how long ago did this happen? Uh, you would have gotten the same information that Evan, Evan received, because Evan told you the how oh, right. this has been. Did you uh, ever happen to see anything when this happened, unfortunately? Uh, he, he, he will kind of cough and... <clears throat> Don't trust the moon. <clears throat> oh god! He'll be asleep. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just... I check his pulse. He's... Yeah. He's got, he's got a pulse. Okay. Oh, I, he, yeah, he's got... It seems weak, but he has a pulse. He's alive. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, let Maria to know to contact some, uh, some, some healers when... I... Uh, as soon as she can. I guess. So, again with the moon. Yeah. Fantastic. I, uh, I, I'm looking around at the swanky-ass house. <laughs> okay. I, I think they got healers. All right. Yes, you can assume that. Yes. We'll get. We'll, but we'll get Maria to contact them to come here immediately. Just yeah. Uh, I, think, I think this was. I think this was, This is more activity than, than he needed today. Probably. All right. It's like. Let's go. Okay. So yeah. um, after we finish visiting um, uh, Led, uh, I'd like to go to the library to. Find some to find some new spells and scrap my my uh, spellbook. Um, okay, okay. Uh, Ron Pip, I'm heading to I'm heading to the uh, to, to the library uh, to get find, to try and find some new spells. Uh, uh, yeah, I gotta do that too. Okay, cool. It's like wonderful. Getting on the same page. <laughs> Trying to figure out what's uh, the deal with your sword. Ah, uh, no. I'll show you when we get there. Oh, okay. I always like it, like it when you have something to surprise me with. So let's do let's do that. Uh, as we leave, I'm going to grab that <laughs> that list back from under the rock. Okay. This. Oh. Uh, so, one of those high elven, one of those high elven speakers in the marketplace was hanging them out. Does do, do I notice anything particular about this? Uh, <clears throat> we say it was a fang shaped. It looked like a wooden tooth. A wooden tooth. It looks like a carved tooth. Hmm. As in, like a tooth that's been carved. Oh. Oh. Okay. On. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I think I have an idea of what kind of spell I want to I want to learn, so that way we can uh, figure out if there's anything particular about this. Yeah. Actually, right. can I cast detect magic on it? So you said you wanted to do what? Oh. You wanted to detect magic on the on the amulet? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You detect. You cast detect magic, and you will notice that the uh, tooth does give off a faint glow. Ooh. Can I tell what school it's from? Yes, you concentrate on it, and it gives off a faint, sickly green aura, mm. marking necromancy. Oh. What it does, you do not know. Bad vibes. Uh, yeah, 
uh, necromancy. I really need to go find that spell. All right, yes. to the library. Okay. You get to the library. Cool. Okay, um, while I'm there, I would like to learn two spells. And I'll spend the gold and time to uh, transcribe into my book. Um, what spells are you looking for? I would like to learn Identify and Ice Knife. Ice Knife is not a wizard spell. Really? It's listed in, my, in the Ed spells thing. Okay. As far as I know, it's not a wizard spell. What level are what level are those spells? Um, these are first level spells. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Make an investigation check. Cool. Uh, 14. 14, okay. Uh, you, you will find a, uh, a series of books on identification. Sweet. So I can, I can uh, transcribe it? Uh, no, the library will not let you. No. Oh, really? On the ice knife. <laughs> Jesus. Duh. Oh, crap. <laughs> do, 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 it will do, do, do. take you far too long to transcribe it. Two hours and gold to, for the paper. Hmm. Right. So that's okay, that's yeah. if you find a scroll. You're not finding a scroll. You're looking through a library for books on the topic. Okay. So you'll have to do your own research. And the uh, it'll it'll take two volumes of books. <laughs> yeah. Mm. To read through. Shoot. Okay. Hey, get that. Get through that in two days. Yeah. I'll I'll do the uh, I'll take the time to do the reading. Uh, while well, you go do your two, thing. Two days. Yes. With the reading. We got. We got like an eight. Nine, he, said, he said two books, right? Two, two books. Yeah. Two, two volumes. volumes. Two volumes. Okay. With multiple mm. chapters. <sighs> With like, and we're assuming like these are some giant friggin' like. Yeah, they're not. They're not simple magazines that you can just. Oh, that's how you do it. Right. It's a. It's a, We're talking like full on. Someone took the time books. to write these. Someone took the time to write these by hand. Shoot. Okay. Hmm. And if you want the two volumes necessary to learn the identify uh, identify spell, it'll be four hundred GP. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. I definitely don't have enough for that. Okay. Can I find anything on this amulet? Uh, Art. make an investigation check. Ten. Ten? Unfortunately, you, I mean, you find several topics about carved teeth and amulets, and most of it seems superstitious with your intelligence. Yeah. Um, none of it seems to follow what this amulet could mean. Right. Hmm. Find anything? Nah. Me neither. <laughs> Is there any spells I can find that I could be able to, to quickly transcribe in my book? No. No? Okay. Not, not, without, not without this same method. Right. Unless you go for a cantrip. In which it would be 300 GP hmm. for a 10 chapter book. Similar. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Do I remember any any particular spell shops or um, places that would sell scrolls and whatnot in, in the city? Uh, make an insight check. Okay. Oof. Is it twenty five? Wow. Uh, yeah, you know one personally. Oh, that that you've you used to be sent on errands from uh, from your mother that you took your little brother to. Shit. Okay. Um. So, we may not, we might not know how to how to do this, but I know somebody who can. 
and All right. we'll head to that place. Okay. I follow. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So, what is this place? Um, it is. You 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 come up across this shop that's uh, got a very storybook look uh, look to it. So it's got the the splayed rooftop. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a sign with a like a scroll and a, a dragon curling around it. Oh. And as you walk in, you see a copper dragonborn. <sighs> Don't, uh, see, don't see for this one. Working busily <laughs> on the other side of the counter, he seems to be uh, doing doing some sort of like ink work, but not with a pen and quill. But it seems like with water his, bending, like claws. <laughs> nice. Um, do you remember his name? Uh, yes, it would be. I should just have this page like ready to go because I always use it. Hmm? It automatically sends me money. That's weird. <laughs> uh, ba 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 ba. I know, seriously. Razul. Razul. R A S U L. Razul! Uh, Copper Dragonborn turns around and goes, Oh! Master Evan! Oh, it has been many years! It has been a very long time indeed. Uh, how are how you? How are you? Yes. Oh, I am wonderful. Business is flourishing. That is incredible. If, 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 I, didn't, if I didn't just work on copper pieces and silver pieces, my scales would be gold! Is wow. this the same Dragonborn that sold me the egg? No. No? Okay. No, you... In Masorna, you you interacted with a blue Dragonborn. Oh, right. right. Uh -huh. well, yeah. I'm about to... Well, I'm about to bring you more business, business old friend. I've recently taken up the Arcane... The Arcane. Ooh. And I present him my spellbook and show he, him he my take it. He'll, he'll peruse it and go... I've added some spells of my own. I... I see this. Uh, you you will have to show me how these work someday. Hopefully, I can. <laughs> um, oh, and this is uh, this is this is my companion, uh, Hello. Master Rumpet. Hello, Master Gnome. Thank you. Hello. He's a rather talented uh, practitioner as well, in some respects. But yes, uh, I have come because I am looking for some more uh, to expand to expand my my, my portfolio, for lack of a better word. Uh, um, I'm looking to learn to, to learn about the identify spell as well as uh, perhaps another off um, offensive one. I might be do might be uh, heading out again, dealing with some particular unsavory characters. Okay, it's like um, would you and I recently went around and uh, seems a bit more pricier than I was expecting, honestly. Uh, would you happen to, to have on your person a scroll of identify or ice knife, perhaps? Or if not ice knife, perhaps something 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 is um, on the more offensive side of things as well. But I am specifically looking for identify. Well, here's a spell that makes you curse like a racial madman, racist madman. <laughs> is it called Rompip? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, I thought it would be boar. Same. As far as I know, Boar's actually pretty wholesome, honestly. Have you heard his fucking mouth? Yeah, <laughs> but, but even then, he's still... he's still. He's... You have him tricked by your talking with animals. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jerry Springer likes you. Oh. <laughs> no, Seinfeld. Whoops. Seinfeld. <laughs> Shh, jeez. I was gonna say, I mean, probably would not be a bad guess for that show, but I don't want to. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, he'll go, hmm, well, I know of where I keep some identified spell scrolls. Give me, give me a one moment, and he'll, like, clamber around, search through his cubby holes, and he'll pull one out and go, hmm, yes. Uh, normally, this would be 250 gold pieces, but since I like the Essence family, they've been giving me so much business, uh, I'll cut it in half. For 125 gold pieces, I'll give you this here scroll. 
because I know what you're gonna do with it. I can afford that. It's like, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so mine's 125. Mm -hmm. Cool. That that didn't hurt me as much as I thought it was gonna. Okay, so yeah, I will be giving the the, the, the 125. Okay. Oh boy, but I'm, I'm gonna spend the next 50 to uh, transcribe it, aren't I? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Um. Any, anything else that you, they might be able to have? Any offensive spells? It doesn't have to be Ice Knife, just anything, um, something that that will d protect me and my friends. Ooh, other than cantrips, things are going to be significantly more expensive. Alright, um... Can't be cutting all the deals, you know? I uh, understand, I understand. It's like we're, we're, both, in, we're, both, in, we're both in business. Uh... All right, I think I think this actually will, will will do just fine. I'll take the time to take a look at it and yada yada yada. Um, uh, Rumpip, anything you want from this from, from this yeah. fine gentleman? I would just like to ask this fine gentleman if he, uh, with his clever jokes, if he would have to know what this is and then hand him the amulet. I have no idea what that is. Cool. Other than it's an amulet with a carved tooth. All right. I know it's good. Are you? Is it special in some way? It has some magical properties I'm kind of curious about. Would you like me to cast Identify on it? If you would not <laughs> mind doing that. It would be a hundred gold pieces. Not a problem. Okay. Uh, I will just hand it to him. the amulet. The time that you, have, that, that, you have, that you last saw me, I've been making... I've, I've been doing stuff. He yeah. doing stuff. pulls out a pearl and peers through the pearl. He goes, hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mm hmm. Um. come out of the corner and be like, "Oh man!" Catch you, Kashun! Where, catch where, you. where have you been? Wait, look, look, look what I can do! Reduce, Wait. enlarge. Wait, how do you get here so fast? No, Kashun's not actually there. I know. Uh, creations. Kashun would get toasted if he was there. <laughs> Reduce, enlarge, haste. So mean. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can't just cast spells on unwilling people. <laughs> Manny, you can't just poop cubes. He will tell you that the item identifies itself as the Thrall's neck piece. Oh god. Oh no. And that this item contains three charges that seem to recharge at midnight. And while wearing the necklace, you can invoke it when you hit a creature with an attack and deal necrotic damage. And gain, a, uh, gain that uh, amount of damage that you deal as uh, temporary hit points. Well, that's not what I expected it would do. Wait, hold up. Yeah, wait, and after... I know you said it can deal necrotic damage. What did you say after that? After what? After what part? Uh, that I can make an attack and have it deal necrotic damage. And you heal back the amount of damage you deal. Ooh. He also says that uh, it seems to invoke a uh, uh, sort of bloodthirst. Mm. Oh. Okay, that's what I expected it to do. Hmm. And you said you. Ta-da! But the enchantment is very weak. So, uh, sounds like, you know, if you gave this to someone who could handle it, that wouldn't be too bad. Perhaps. If you're just standing on a street corner handing them out willy-nilly to commoners, you could cause some issues? Probably not. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, if the commoner doesn't know how to invoke it, then it doesn't do anything. Could someone else invoke it? No. It's generally not how enchanted items work. Although, Thrall's, Thrall kind of, you know, insinuates that uh, maybe, but in my in my personal experience, uh, no. Other people can't invoke what you, what you wear. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Odd. I'm going to stick it back in my pocket. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's been very useful. Thank you for the Identify Scroll. Um, thank you for taking taking care of our mis little mystery. No problems. It was a very little mystery indeed. Ha! Ha! 
He gets it. I get it too. I, I wish I didn't. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, but Evan, you should understand the essence of the jokes. <laughs> You're suddenly reminded that uh, I slapped my knee. as a copper dragon, he's he's very uh, pun based. Yes, <laughs> I rolled my intelligence to see if Ron Pip remembered this. <laughs> yeah. He did. <laughs> <laughs> did uh? It's like, was there anything else you wanted to take, check out? Ah, no, we're good. All right. Uh, hopefully, I can be back back soon to uh, learn more from you. Hopefully. Yes. Always love the business. Yes, of course, of course. All right. It's like, it's like again. Thank you, Rasul. Of course. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I am gonna skip that one. I will go with. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll transcribe this back at home. Yeah. Uh, it'll be. It, I believe it'll be useful in the future. That is a good plan. Okay. So you guys return home. Uh, Vimix sold can some we, stuff. Can we make a quick stop. Where are you stopping? We would like to send a ham over to House Zeppelin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh same number of uh, currency. I don't remember what I told you. I think it said like two silvers or something. Uh, ten. I think it was it? ten silver. Ten. No, it was ten gold. Uh, copper because he gave him one silver, right? No, that was for the letter. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I think it's ten silver. I just remove one gold, assuming they're also gonna like actually want money if they're having to like carry it over to someone's house. Probably not ten silver, but okay. Yeah. I I can't remember what I told you the first time. Okay. Give him a gold. Keep the change. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. You send a you send a the finest ham to to uh, house. Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Oh God! It's, can he even eat it? I I don't know. You're the one that wanted to send a ham. Uh. <laughs> uh so if not, the maid's eating well. I'm actually having a legitimate re realization about this. <laughs> so uh, you guys wander back to Evan's estate. Uh, I think. Evan's gonna wander in his room and yeah, start. And I'm going to spend a 50 gold to transcribe all that information to my book. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, you will have to find a pearl. Oh, I will ask at some point. Uh, yeah, I'll see if um, I'll, I'll I'll check with Paul and see if we have any any in stock. Otherwise, I'll go try and buy one. <laughs> uh, not likely because your family does not specialize in pearls. Okay. So yeah, I will. What about if jewelry? Your mother owns a necklace. I am not gonna. Fuck my mother's jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> He's seen what his mother can do. Uh, <laughs> you could ask her nicely. I could, or I could head back. To, or I could head, the Zeppelins. They they they, they, they worked in, they worked in a uh, in jewelry. They could they get up pearls. Well, he said gems. But... Yeah. What, what would I know if they also sold like um, pearl jewelry as well? Considering yes. Okay, I'll check. I'll check in with them later. Um, so yeah, but for now I'll spend a 50 gold to, and two hours to l learn identify. Okay, mm -hmm. I am down to that many gold. Okay, cool. What, what kind of spell is identify? <clears throat> Actually no, it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit within your uh, realm of school, so don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, so Evan's gonna spend two hours, uh, Scrawling, identify into a spell book. Uh, what do you do? Uh, does the Essence household happen to have any sort of library? A small one, yes. I am going to go in there. Okay. I am going to find something to read. Okay. George is there with you because his office is the library. Ah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How's it going? Very good. Yeah. I am quite busy. Did I you need something? Long. Oh, I was just gonna look for something to read up on. Go right ahead. Thank you. As as they say in in Wuja, es mi casa, es yu casa. Mm. <laughs> I think. Ah, es yu casa. Probably not. Es yu casa, mi casa, yu casa. I don't think that's how it goes. I don't think it is either. Ja Jacqueline would know better than I would. <laughs> She's. She from seems like a smart one. Wuja, I think. No. Yes, she is very smart. Yes. 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 No. yes. <laughs> what? Yes. Some days I think your son got it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> As Probably. <in> some days. <laughs> some days. Understandable. Enjoy your reading. And he, he'll go back to work. You do. Uh, Vimic and Lorelei? 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 Mm -hmm. Lorelei. Lorelei. Okay. Laura. Lie. Yes. Uh, <laughs> did you guys want to stop anywhere else before heading back to the estate? Did you want to do anything? 
Um, Sold out the stuff I wanted to. Yeah, what, how much did you get for that, anyway? Or are we going to do that after? We're going to do that after. I got an amount. You got so <laughs> much <million>. monies. <laughs> I got all the monies. <laughs> I don't think I need to do anything. I think Water Ganassi wants to get going. Water Ganassi is a little patient. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She has a personal quest. Let's go. Water Ganassi. You don't understand. This has been my entire life. It's all I know. No, seriously. When we were creating her character, it was the funniest thing. We're like, oh, you were born with a you. You got born, born, born. You were born knowing both your parents. Oh, you guys had a great, had a lovely house. Oh, they abandoned you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> it sounded awful cute, and then it was like, they totally left you for this quest. You're, You're an only child, issue. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> It was great. Fantastic. It was perfect. Uh, no, I mean, I we, I we walked and talked. I told you everything. Yep. Okay. We're twinsies. Yeah. We have matching armor. Yeah, and similar backstories, actually. I know. <laughs> actually, <laughs> shocking. How yeah. you guys bonded? Yeah. Oh, my parents bonded me, too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, we just start a club. Hey. Just, the only difference is, is like I'm like I'm not sure if they abandoned me or if I abandoned them, but something happened. <laughs> yeah, when we get the, when, when we get back to, to Dragon's Head, we're gonna start a club for abandoned for, for abandoned oh. children. Oh no! Oh, sad face. So, <laughs> well, they're gonna they're gonna meet on national you say? Well, at least that couple that got murdered didn't have kids to join it. Okay. Uh, ha ha! That we know of. Oh. <laughs> You guys are gonna get. You guys are gonna get to. to uh, you're gonna hold hold, oh, it, wait, hold it in our mansion. A, Manny, that's just an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not wow. when it, not when it's like not when it's like a, a, a biweekly meeting between a group of adults and. Uh, it's, okay, it's, okay. It's, it's in our it's in our house and we serve tea. Hi, everybody. My name's John, and my parents don't love me. <laughs> Hi, John. <laughs> Evan comes in with tr Evan comes in with tea with tea and and and, and refreshments. Just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are going to roll into the next day. Ah, uh, wait. Uh, we rolled, we rolled into the next day. Nice. <laughs> it was with the four though, so I don't know how this day is going. Uh, so it's going to go. Paul will come in and announce that you. Uh, Master Evan is invited to the. Oh my God! I yeah. Too many. I, too many things. Too many things. All the things. All the things. <laughs> Do I have? No, I have to go to. I have to go to Discord. <laughs> so many. So many things. Not enough things. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I just can't remember what I called the things. I'm not gonna activate inertia armor for now. Okay. I love how ours are like besties. It's so great. <laughs> oh, you, you have a guest bedroom now in the in and you have a household too. Uh, Paul comes in and says that uh, Master Evan is invited to the Pillar of Archons, which is the massive castle tower that sits at the top of the uh, cliff that's in the middle of the city. Ooh. And that is where that's the it. meeting of nobles will happen. Meeting of houses. Do I also remember, yeah? Do, do I also know it as like the main head of government as well as where like the emperor would, would reside? That, yes, okay. that would be where the emperor would reside okay. if he were alive. If there was one, uh, if you had like any sort of foresight. Do we get to go to this fancy meeting thing? I hope. Um, wouldn't hurt for you guys to come. I'll just, I, I can just, I can just, uh, define you as my, uh, b personal bodyguard, considering the situation that happened with, uh, with Lead. I think that cover works. There's three of us! You didn't see what happened to Lead. It was bad. As far as everybody knows, as far as everybody knows, I am, I am but a, I am but the foolhardy firstborn son of, of House Essence. I vanished for a while, came back. Nobody know. Nobody knows about the whole Kal Kalasha thing. No one knows about my. Immortal. So what you're saying is, they think you're a wimp. Yes. <laughs> oh no. No, that's fine. This is the perfect cover. They don't. They don't know what I've been up to for the past five years. It's fine. You couldn't fight a bear anyway. I mean, so. look at the. I mean, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just that, set. That we're all just cartoon just... thing. Where it's like... for, for the record, for the, for the record, though, no, I have no more negatives in, 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 my, in, in my stats. And my strength is, a sol is still is, is a solid ten, but I think it's been nice. a solid ten. So we're all standing around in our armor. Yeah. <laughs> and no, yeah, no. That's another thing. When you first meet me, I am literally just wearing cloth. I'm, I'm wearing. I'm just wearing robes. So I probably totally underestimated you. Probably, yeah. Although I did 
kick your ass yeah, the you, first you, time. You, you, you <laughs> didn't get ahead, yeah. <laughs> and you've only seen me do spells. You haven't seen me do any of my other stuff yet. Oh, so, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Actually, I'm... Um, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Don't have to about it. <laughs> real quick, this is, just, this is just because I tested it out earlier. Um, since metaphysician is a, is a uh, psionic, psionic transmutation cantrip, do I, does my mortal appear whenever I do it, or can I just do it like, like as if it was a regular uh, thaumaturgy, um... Uh, we can precipitation. flavor it however you want. Okay, so I can have, Cause, her, cause have her appear and I can have her not. If we go based on the references uh, that you're making, uh, stands have done their thing without being seen. Okay, cool. So, okay, good. I can work with that. All right, sweet. Just, I was just curious. But yeah, so, all right. Um, so, uh... I'm gonna try and review to the, I'm gonna re, um, brief them all on, on etiquette when entering the what was it called again? The pillar of the pillar of archons. Pillar of. Sound is it sneaky? Sneaky stuff. Archons. Archons. That sounds familiar. Archons are the uh, nine democratic councilmen of a Greek democracy. I was completely off. Just ignore me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I don't I'm know still, where that came yeah. from. I'm going to There's something thereabouts. Review to them. The brief them on the etiquette. Uh, being there, the story that we're all going to share, that you guys are my bodyguards, and the recent attack on, on House Zeppelin has me a bit paranoid. Okay. So, yes. Fair Those enough. Yeah. We're wearing, uh, uh, not paranoid. Uh, so what are we doing? <laughs> are you talking to me... To Vivek. Yeah. In common? Yeah. Um... Uh, I just told you this. Uh, <laughs> if anyone, Stop it! I don't tell, tell you knew what my role was for. <laughs> if anyone asks you anything, you're there to protect him. Excuse me. I protect think you the got pretty the, boy. Got it. <laughs> I I don't know you well, so but I see you grab the get grab the concept a little better than him. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Rompep's intelligence is really high. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He no, probably I just mean, knows his brother is just not gonna understand like, all this. He knows. He's like, he, no, he knows that like, it's like, overexplained. Fair. Yes. That's a that's a good assumption. That reminds me. And etiquette's kind of like, eh, be polite. But like, yeah. Vivek's already like polite. Do, do his, it to his own standard. Do it. Do what you normally do. Don't say anything beyond good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Perfect. Actually, real quick, I wanted to ask you about that ion stone that you you still have it. Yeah. Would you mind if I if I held onto it for for a while? Boom. Boom. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. Boom. What? And I'll pluck it. Uh, Wait. Roll an attack roll. <laughs> oh no! Never mind. Never mind. I will. Huh? Actually, yeah, let's do this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to try and pluck it out of the sky. Roll a roll an attack roll. With your dexterity. You use With the, dexterity. Uh, long, uh, Wrong accent there. Seventeen. Seventeen? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you you no problem. Catch it. Oh good. Oh whew, I was gonna miss that. Alright. Hey, I'll 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 hold on to this for now. Um use it when I when I actually need to and I'm gonna Oh I did it. use the wrong accent. <laughs> and I'll pocket for pocket it for now. Okay. So no problem. Ion Stone in inventory. Uh if you had the Ion Stone in your inventory, remove it. Got yes. it. Do I need to do anything special in the Archons? Or do I just keep my mouth shut? Um I guess if any if anybody asks, just re re repeat what we said. You are current. You are, um, you're my Good bodyguard. Morning. <laughs> you're my bodyguard. Good morning. Um, Wait. I am paying you all a hundred gold pieces a day to protect me. Something along. I'm side. holding you to that. Cool. Let's oh go. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cover story. It's a cover story. Uh huh. What I heard was you're paying me a hundred gold to protect you. As part, the story. The gold? As part of the yes, story. As part of the story. Oh, he's sweet. paying us a hundred gold. Oh yes. Yeah. Should I have? <sighs> <laughs> I just spent all my gold at trying to do it during a, during a thing. Uh, okay, okay. Before we go there, we're gonna stop by Ze by, uh, by by House Zeppelin again, just so you can maybe perhaps get a deeper understanding of this whole thing. Uh, do we have time to visit House Zeppelin? No. Shit. Okay. Uh, we better go. Okay. Uh, for now, then, yeah. Uh, hold on. We just add, let me just add that. Oh, not custom item. Uh, no, no. Remove that. It's not a custom item. You should be able. I know. To I know. Um, oh, okay. Okay. I, how do you spell Ion again? I-O-N. I-O-N. Uh, of natural knowledge? Uh, I think so. Okay. 
Oh, wait, no, this one just says, you gain proficiency in nature skill. And no, it's not oh, that one. Okay, shoot. So, yeah. Um, I think it's also, that I, I spelled it wrong. Almost had one more. Oh, here okay. we go. There's one more. One more. Supreme Intellect. Yes, that's it. Interesting. The stone really didn't do anything for you. It no, it actually it, did yeah, not. It, it should have increased your intelligence. Because <laughs> it maxes out. Uh, it maxes out where well, it I'm says at. You, gain, you gain a plus one bonus intelligence check. It doesn't say you toss in... So you could get that plus one bonus. I he does, can't. he but does. But he doesn't benefit from it. Yeah. It doesn't give him any higher than the plus two he, or plus right. five he already has. Right. It doesn't say that, though. That's a thing. What? It doesn't say that, that, it, that it boosts your intelligence uh, score. Well, you get a plus one on all your intelligence. Oh, no, yeah, no, the D and D one is actually uh, not the one we were using. Oh, the D and D Beyond ones is specifically. D and D Beyond doesn't list the basic one we had. Okay, that's fine. It it still behaves the the exact same way. Yeah. Oh, here's here's the one that here yeah here's the Ion Stone of Intellect. I was I was I added the um, Supreme Intellect one. So the Intellect one is the one that 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 increases your increases it by two. Okay, then so, add that. Okay, and yeah. Move the other one. There we go. Yeah, sweet. There we go. Sorry about this, guys. You're good. Okay. To the Arcorn. Sure. <laughs> okay. So you got uh, Evan. Evan Paul will lead the charge, uh, taking you guys to the Pillar of Archons, where he has you guys climb up the um, midway, which is the middle highway that that scales the cliff, and along the uh, roadside uh, on the wall, because the the cliff sides are just getting sheer even though you are on these slanted slope. Um, there's actually giant statues of the various heroes of uh, of Arcadia. Nice. So, how well does Paul seem to be handling these steps and his butler's clothing? Perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. In Elvish. Evan. It's like, yes. Should I be intimidating? Mean Vimic it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He puts on like a intimidating scowl. Stern more than more than I guess intimidating. Maybe you bring it back a little bit. So, a little bit more. <laughs> Forward one. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I, I, do I notice him like, do, changing his posture like this for no re apparent reason? I mean, there's an apparent reason you just don't understand it. <laughs> yes. That's how you should look. Oh. Oh, actually, another thing. If any of you. Keep, keep an ear out. If any of you, if any of you hear something that the um, other families might be saying, something inter interesting, um, keep keep that in mind, and we'll re re been, we'll talk about it later. I've been a mercenary for about ten years at this point. Mm -hmm. This ain't my first time doing this. Perfect. Okay. Um, so as you guys go in, you come upon a very brutalist style hallway that uh, it's very grand, open air, uh, light shines through. Uh, there's Lots of guards. Lots of royal guards. Everywhere. Uh, standing at their duty. A couple of ho uh, house nobles are chatting within their group. They kind of like... Some side eye you guys, some ignore you guys, some like peek up like... Who's that? Oh, it's that person. I, uh, I stand directly in front of Evan as we're walking up. Being total bodyguard. Okay. I have shield yeah. out and flail out. Ready. Hey, you, you, put, those, put those down. Don't make people alerted. Aren't we got bodyguards though? Yeah, you don't want to make him nervous, though. Okay, fine, just my shield. There you go. Okay. <laughs> um, eventually, uh, you'll come upon a chamber in which you're led up some uh, stairs to be seated within your respective section of this large, rounded chamber. Um, the place that you are led to specifically has the colors of House Essence, which is a lavender primary, a rose secondary with a green accent, and the symbol of a star anise uh, surrounded by other herbs uh, lay across the banner. Oh, I forgot. I, I, I forgot about see, about, about a, a speed wagon. So let's just say I've, I've, um, I've put him in his material space mm -hmm. for a while now, so yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you see the other noble houses, where there's House Van Halen, whose uh, banner is uh, sky, uh, sky Blue Primary, uh, Blood Secondary, a bronze accent with a cupid beneath a sunrise. Gee, what? What? Okay, okay, I'm following. Uh, House Fu, 
has a gray primary, snowy green secondary, with a uh, snow secondary, snow white secondary, with a green accent, and the helm of a T-shaped visor. Uh, House Paramore has a fuchsia primary, a gold secondary, and a bone accent with a butterfly with wings <laughs> separated from its body, and eyes uh, like crescents uh, marking the bottom of each one. House Maroon is a dark gray primary with evergreen secondary and maroon accent with a mountains uh, and a rising sun. House Chevelle, sandstone primary, wine secondary, gold accent with a skeleton against a tree. House oh. Bellion is night sky primary, silver secondary, cobblestone accent uh, with a knight with a sword. House Yori is a violet primary, violet primary, copper secondary, midnight accent with moonbeams upon a sunflower. And House Mumford, a sandalwood primary, mauve secondary, lake blue accent with a line roaring into trumpets. And each group has their own respective number of members. Can we tell which ones seem to be the actual fan members and which seem to be, might, might be bodyguards, like I've got? Yes, uh, you can tell very distinctly because they'll, just like you, be in robes. Okay. They, uh, except for House Fu. House Fu will be the only one that seems to be donning some sort of armor. So you can say that they're, they're, they're family of fighters. That's like, can we tell that some of the armor is going to look a bit more... Did you have uh, to say it? Yes, I did. Yeah. Can we tell that, uh, for specifically House Fu, that some of the armor looks a bit more uh, gilded and nicer than... It's actually... Uh, it's different from Arcadian armor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's Wuja armor. Oh! Yes. They are They are, They are. are very, very distinctly Wuja. Ah. And even their banner is slightly different from the Arcadian style that's more, like, European knight ah. uh, regalia. Ah. So so what they don is more, like, layered layered plates that sit on, like, oh, or layered see. woven yeah. plates. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've got an idea. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Slick. All right. Families here. Is um is it just these them or is there like a is there has a has a crowd gathered or any kind of like other? Uh, no, the the citizenship are left out. Okay. But there is a main chair that sits higher above everyone else okay. uh, within the circle, and eventually you'll see a uh, judge with his helmet off come over and sit upon the chair. Do we recognize this this judge? Uh, yes. Um... Uh oh. <gasps> Aaron, did you hear that? No, I didn't. Sorry. Sorry. A, a, a judge has just uh, walked up to the uh, t um, to the podium and sat down. And it seems like we and he has his helmet off, and it seems like we recognize him. It's the oh no. It might be. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. It's not that one. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Ooh. this. So it's more like. The local judge that I know is if it was like... It's, it's, a, it's a fairly high-ranking one okay. for you to have recognized them. <laughs> um, they're, they're pretty. They look okay, nice. They're on there. So the judge that stands before you, his name is Tylus Latios uh, Masitia. What the fuck? <laughs> Come again? Tylos. How do you spell that? T-Y-L-O-S. T-Y-L-O-S. Lacius, L A E T I O S. T I O S. O S. Thank you. Mositia. M O S I T I A. M O S. Okay. T I. I T I A. I T I A. Ish. And he is the High General, uh, High General and Inquisitor. So he is a top brand. He's got a few jobs. Top brass. And you you would know this because his armor is not just the normal judge armor that you've seen before, which just looks like like very well polished steel. Mm -hmm. His is covered in brass, gold, copper, uh, like details. He's got metals embedded into his armor and wax seals. He's he's. He's done some I, shit. I was hoping for the light With uh, my general knowledge, my knowledge specifically from all the mercenary work, what I understand 
his yeah, general. You, would, you recognize that he, he's some sort of, he's done some sort of military work. Okay. Is Tylos Slacios one word? Uh, no. Oh. There, he has three names. Okay, cool. Um, what, what race is he? Human. Human, okay. Arcadian. We can assume, as we we're in the capital of Arcadia, You, you, you can over. also assume that all judges are actually human. They don't. They're very strict and don't allow any any other. Oh, they're boy. very old in their ways. Oh boy, I brought I brought a great person then. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> then it, roll me an intimidation check <laughs> with an advantage. You brought three yes. non-humans. <laughs> That's an unnatural twenty. Nice. Ooh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. With your passive perception, yeah. and you're, even though you're squinting, you can definitely see that among the actual bodyguards, a lot of them seem to be defensive about you in particular. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> but not in, in a like in a in a immediate like threatening manner, but more like I'm obviously they're, they're one on of the biggest guard guys in the room. You. Yeah, <laughs> you literally are the biggest guy in the room. <laughs> yeah, boy. Other than oh, actually, that being said, as well, House Yuri has someone just as big. <gasps> oh. oh, I was about to ask as well. It's like, can we tell what rate, if if any of the bodyguards are all, are all human or are they also in, uh, of other races? Uh, I only care about the one. Bodyguard. Most of them are human. Okay. Um, especially from House uh, Chevelle and uh, Gosh. Osh, gosh, bagosh. So, um, as House, uh, House Van Halen, House Fu, uh, and Chevelle are most notably all human. The okay. other ones have a mix. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sweet. Good to know. Alright. Okay. <laughs> So the judge will come come and sit upon his mediator chair. Can I tell what race that one bodyguard is? The big one? The big one? Make a perception check. Okay. Yeah, boy. That's a 22. Ooh. Ooh. Snap. Despite the fact that he is actually covered, uh, you catch a glimmer of... Uh, deep red scales. Ooh. Oh. So you can make the assumption that he is probably red dragonborn. Oh. He's a big boy. He's a big one. <laughs> and yeah, he's he's also angry. <laughs> Sweet. Go <Kay>. on. <laughs> um, the judge will sit down and say, I am Tylos Latios Mosisia, and I will be the mediator. For this house meeting. Yeah. I'm gonna just... I, wait, wait. Nothing's gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> As we have done before, it's good. please keep all weapons in their sheaths and cast no spells. Let us begin again. And you can see that he's he seems tired. Like he's been doing this for a far too long. How old does he look? He's pretty old. Oh, he's uh, Human? uh like th in his fifties. Okay, and like facial hair, like a beard or uh yeah. Okay, he's got like a nice Sean Connery, uh, okay. salt and pepper. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Doesn't sound like Sean Connery. That would be the Golden Dragon. <laughs> um, <sighs> All right, cool. And so uh, immediately as he he finishes the sentence. Almost all the houses start breaking out in the argument. <laughs> Dictating, I I should be the emperor because this reason. And they're like, no, you can't be the emperor. You do this. I should be the emperor. And all the houses are going on. It's like a cacophony. And the mediator, uh, Tyrus, doesn't seem to be doing anything. Just <laughs> at this point, he it seems like he's so used to this that he doesn't stop them. Welcome to politics, boys. I don't miss it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They do things like this in a in, in Thimbleville? Nah, we're actually a uh, indirect democracy where we actually vote on issues and actually have you know local representatives. Okay. On the mountain, they fight each other. 
Do I remember? I don't know any of my relatives. Oh. <laughs> myself. Do you, do you remember? Do, you, do I know? Do I, can I remember what like any penalties are for performing magic acts, even if, if they are if they're small ones within the within the? Uh, I'm assuming we will get kicked yeah. out. The archon. Um. You can ass- yeah, you can assume that you'd probably be kicked out. Shit. Okay. At minimum. Although, are you trying to cast? I might. I might be doing. I might be doing. Um. Uh, uh, met, uh, metaphysician, but, uh, I'm gonna, you would know that that doesn't require any somatic or verbal components. I can just make it happen. You can just make it happen. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, um, everyone's arguing. Do I hear any, any particularly compelling element, arguments from, the, from this side? Has my dad tried to say anything? Your dad's not there. Oh, I thought he, oh, You're I thought, no, you are the, the you are there. the one representing the house. Oh. So Paul came with us, but not my dad? Yes. Oh, yes. interesting. Okay, cool. So, do I hear any, any compelling arguments from any of the anything that or anything that really strikes me as very, very off-putting from any of the other houses? Uh, I shall go through the rumors again. Okay. Um, House Van Halen is rumored to have made a, a deal with the devil because their diplo- their diplomacy and charm is just a little too exquisite. Van Halen. Okay. Um. And it's kind of well known that most of them uh, do end up down the route of a warlock, for lack of a better description. Interesting. I don't know if this helps, but I have divine sense where I can detect good and evil. Is that helpful to you at all right now? Hmm. Are you looking for evil or good? It might be. Okay. Because I, because I, because I, I, based on my my knowledge of the of, of the families, that's. This is, this is how, what I'm basing things off of. Uh, you also, you, you would definitely know that you're in good relations with House Bellion and Mumford, and you're in bad relations with House Maroon and Paramore. Okay. And then every, oh, every other house <laughs> is kind of on a neutral ground with House Essence. All right. And Yuri's one of those neutral houses, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Those detect good and evil. Is that, is that, is that, uh, semant- does that require semantics? Uh, no, she can just do that. She just has to concentrate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it does. It's, it's not it does. a. It's a. It's a. It's a uh, cantrip, or a, it's a cleric uh, paladin. It's a paladin ability. Oh, Hell yeah, man! It's, it's a first level div- divination spell. It's a paladin ability. Okay. It's not actually detect good and evil. Oh, it's, okay. It's hers right. is the fine sense. Okay. Okay. So she gotcha. she kind of like yeah. concentrates and then gets um, vibes eagle vision. Okay. Uh, it's like. Uh, Lorelai, any of any of the houses give you a any good or bad vibes? It's been a while since I've been home. Let me see. Okay, this one? Uh, you don't actually need to roll a d20. Ooh, okay. Um, what's the range that it says? It, it kind of says... it kind of all just happens, and then you have a number of charges of that you can use divine sense. So tap one, Boop. and then go ahead and uh, like one sentence. To, uh, eat, tell me each sentence. As an action, you can detect good and evil. Okay. Until the end of your turn, you can sense anything affected by the hollow spell or know the location of any celestial, fiend, or undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Okay. You do detect a couple of fiends, oh. but uh, they're very apparently tiefling. Is that good? Tieflings are normal people. Oh, they're, they're, so they're not really evil. They're, they're, they're not half demon humans. They're not okay. evil per se, but you do detect them as fiends. Okay, that's that's just what they are. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. so well, I just kind of like it's kind of like you you get the like the Hellboy vision, so you can see that oh, like, okay. they ha- they have the the red crowns above their heads, cool. signifying that they're fiend, fiendish. Okay. Uh, what else does the spell tell you, or divine sense give you? You can use this feature three times per long rest. What about the whole detect good and evil aspect? Yeah, what about the... That's just, you, you can detect good and evil. 60 feet. Right, so... Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. That is definitely enough distance. As long as you're not behind total cover. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, are these... So, real quick, sorry. Are these, like... Are we at, like, podiums, essentially? Is, as, as each house been led into, like, a little, little like, cubby so or something like that? Or are we just kind of around? A cubby would be a better, better okay. way to go about it. So you guys are in a circular atrium mm-hmm. with each house in their own, uh, like, like... I kind of assumed that it was, like, uh, Attack of the Clones. Um, oh, yes, like okay. that council yeah. room. Yeah, yeah. On the ground, gotcha. But gotcha. On, a, on a significantly smaller scale. And gotcha. not sci-fi. Yeah. Okay. So we are in our we are in our own uh, our our, our yes. box seat. And okay. the way the atrium is built is that 
if even if another house kind of like whispers, it can be heard on the other side. It can side. be heard on okay. the other side. Yeah. Although they're yelling, so you asking Lorelai, "Hey, do you do you get any bad vibes about someone?" No one's gonna, no one's gonna fucking hear it. Okay. So um, what you get? So what you get is a couple people from House Yuri give off evil. Okay. Um, a couple people from House Paramore give off evil. Uh, a couple people from House Van Halen give off evil. Ooh. House Fu gives off a good vibe. Uh, Chevelle also gives off a good vibe. And the other two... The other two seem neutral. Okay. So Fu and Chevelle gave off good, good vibes? Yes. And you said it was Yuri, Paramore, and Van Halen giving off the evil ones. Yes. Yuri, Paramore, and Halen. Okay. There you go. Okay. It's like, did I tell you? Did I, did I tell you how much I appreciate you joining our team? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so once I hear I'm, that, <laughs> I'm assuming it's kind of like. So is everyone just seated in these cubbies, or are they standing, or they? The noble, uh, the nobles are seat. The noble representatives are seated. Their rest of their crew are standing, including you guys. Okay, okay. cool. And I'm the only one who's seated that saying that. So I'm going to get up. Um, doesn't, yeah. That doesn't. That doesn't. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna stand up. My Renome. You see anything weird? Oh, to me? Yeah. Oh, in Gnomish? Do I see anything weird? Uh, make a perception check. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Oh, what'd you roll? That one. <laughs> Oof. That's right, like, it's no, okay, sunlight big guy. Kind of, like, because <laughs> this is kind of an open area, the sunlight, like, glimmers in your eyes. It just so happens to be a time of day where it's yeah. like... <laughs> the one time the tavern thing. flies out of the sun's way yep. and glimmers in your eye. I love all that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to get up. That doesn't elicit a reaction from any of the houses. Yeah. No. I'm going to... Although, although... Make perception check. Okay. That's an 18 on the die um, with a perception of... 21. 21. You'll notice the... Uh, everyone is yelling. Mm -hmm. Mo most of the advisors and bodyguards don't notice you. A couple of them do look your way. You'll notice House Fu has... The noble men for House Fu has been silent. Oh. And hasn't said a word and no and sees you stand up. Okay. Um, I'm going to hop up on the, uh, the, the fence. The ledge. The, 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 ledge, the ledge of the box. I'm just going to hop up on it. And I'm going to use Metaphysician to make my voice louder and mm -hmm. make a shower of sparks go off as I, behind me as I, as I get up on there and just say, it's like, House Essence puts its hat in the ring. <laughs> it's like, I am the firstborn, I am Evan, her firstborn son of House Essence, and I am here to, <laughs> and I am here to put my candidacy in, candidacy, candidacy in for the Empire. I will lead us into a new era of style and sophistication. I'm just gonna. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now they're all gonna catch it. Your voice. He's going to infect the whole city. <laughs> echoes throughout the whole thing. Even you, you you've like woken up Tylus, <laughs> <laughs> who's like uh, it's. Uh, he has to actually like. He seems to like whisper over to someone else, and you'll see a little lean in, and they like shake their head. And, okay. <laughs> Uh, you can make a inside check. Son of a bitch, that's a two. But, ah! um, <laughs> let me see if that does anything. Oh no. Uh, eight. Eight? Uh, you're pretty sure it's some sort of advisor. Okay. Uh, what his purpose is... Uh, I'm not sure. You don't know outright. Okay. Alright. You can make a guess, but you don't know, otherwise you don't know his purpose. Not sure if 100%. Yeah. I, I, I probably know, but not, I'm not, I haven't been right. confirmed yet, so yeah. So, um, so this... now... Yeah, the house's attention. Th this box, Brent, does it have like a door behind us, essentially? No, it's open. Okay. Or like, it's just an open archway behind us? It's, yeah, it's an open archway and hallway. Okay. Alright. Cool. I'm going to start keeping an eye on that. Okay. <laughs> it's like, 
The Emperor is dead, and all we do here is bicker and bicker and bicker. Well, there are forces on the move. And we're here at our own throats. Shameful. Absolutely shameful for the human race and for all the Empire. I say we, we choose a new Emperor soon. Now, perhaps. And I think I'm the best choice for the job. What say you? You'll notice the, the nobleman who's been quiet the entire time at House Fu stands up. And he, uh, he points at you accusingly. You? You think you can come here after abandoning your family for five years and stand to be a candidate for the Empire? I do. I've been out in the world for a spell. Figured out what's going on, what's wrong. And I think a worldly view might help improve our relations. You'll uh, roll me a persuasion check. Oh god. That was a bad answer. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Manny! With an advantage because you're our Katie. Okay. Hey! Well, thank god. Hey Manny. <laughs> Give me, giving you a chance, man. Manny. I'm giving you a chance. You're what trying. the Manny, what are you doing? That's an eight. That's an eight? Yeah. That's not how you roll on the die. No one seems moved by your speech. Oh. Has I'm um <laughs> Can see this second? Uh yeah, yeah, House Fu will continue to talk and say, um No, you have brought dishonor <laughs> to your family. Worldly view. <laughs> You have run away from the politics of our land. Arcadia is in need of help, and you walked away. Hmm. Any other houses gonna say anything yet? They all seem to murmur in, in the greens from the house of Fu. It's like... Well, then who might be capable of protecting the Empire, then? Who might be capable of taking the reins? Because so far, everybody here who is arguing doesn't seem to be showing any of that. Uh, House Yuri will stand up and proclaim uh, your 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 somewhat close friend uh, Brand. Oh my God! I wrote his name. <laughs> you got this. Brand yeah. Odiolda uh, stands up. Man, you did this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and says, How Shiori can afford to protect the Empire? Of course. It's like, We are the richest family. Every mercenary group will be able to defend the Empire. Why? Is there some sort of threat to your worldly views <laughs> I've found? I'm gonna look Sorry. I'm gonna look I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look to my allies. I'm gonna look for a nod of approval. <laughs> the paladin's like. <laughs> if they can't pick themselves, who would they pick? Um. <laughs> shit. Uh, what? It's like yeah. Wait. So, what was your question again? They asked if um. It was a rhetorical question yes, of no. does your worldly views bring upon. Uh, see upon a threat that comes to the Empire. And if it did, will money really be able to solve that problem? I don't know if I should actually say this, if my character should, but mine totally do. Like, just saying. No, you should, my whole if, life if, is based on the world ending. Uh, awesome. If you believe it, you should... Okay, then you I say it. You should act as if your character... What, 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 you whatever should, your character would you do. Should, you okay. Should, you should, yeah, what your character would do. Mm -hmm. Okay, then yeah. Mine do. Yeah. And I believe I can lead people because I have my... I don't know what to say. Priority straight? Not priority straight. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Um, I stand for good, and I see the end of the world that I have since I was a child. And I believe that I know how to save everyone. Is that what you say out loud? Suck it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll suck it persuasion Not check. suck it. <laughs> Which die is that? D20. Nat 20! What? Suck it! Uh, 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 wow. Wow. 
water than me. Wow, yeah. So, <laughs> no, no, I'm glad though. So, so the water genasi comes up to you and gives her compelling story of how how her family left on a vision quest, uh, and she is now on the same vision quest because she it. sees disaster coming afoot, and she feels that we should all protect people and that she will protect the people. I'm gonna use meta. I'm gonna med- use me- uh, metaphysician to make like a ray of light shine down upon her as she says this. <laughs> I mean, that's probably part of it. <laughs> just saying. Nice. <laughs> uh, Maybe even like a small choir of angels. Just... Uh, any of you can make a perception check. As the all the nobles seemed rather moved by okay. this story. Well, at least you're roll. At least I'm rolling low consistently. Twenty one. Oh. Nice. I like his work. <laughs> so it's a very perceptive boy. Thirteen. Nice. Seven. Seven. Uh, Vimic. Which is not ah, bad. You will notice that uh, you you t- what did you roll again? Seven. Seven. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, you're, too, you're, focused you're on... t- really focused on. You're mesmerized <laughs> by the story. Trying to uh, yeah, compel- so, yeah, keep yourself compelled, but while also giving her a ray of light. Yeah. While well, well, selling her more, yeah. <laughs> um, you notice that House Fu, the nobleman, kind of like does the frown face but nods, like kind of in agreeance. He's not happy with this response, but yeah. You see this too, but you also notice that uh, the... Ow. Ooh, I heard that. I heard that, yeah. Ow. The, um, no, that I did not. Brand seems to have a slight scowl, but takes a, takes a seat. Okay. Money and merc- mercenaries are bought with money. And money only complicates things. It is the unity between nations that truly Keeps us strong. I feel like my character would be like, "Mm -hmm." (laughs) mm-hmm. The unity between the houses of the Empire. If we continue to bicker like this, we will do nothing nothing more than break ourselves down, backstab each other, like how how Zeppelin has already been. House Chevelle will speak up. Then what do you suggest? Suggesting? (laughs) What do you suggest? Then what do you suggest? Let's say we let the people vote. Mm. Oh shit, am I, am I, am I gonna accidentally- no, no. Oh god, am I gonna accidentally, accidentally create, uh, create, create, create the call? I know I have a thing where I can turn the faithless. I have a thing for this, hold on. As an action you present your holy symbol, and each fae or fiend within 30 feet of you can, that can hear you must make a saving throw. Is that something I should use? No. No? And don't you, you can't use magic here. The only reason I'm able to do stuff oh. is because I'm, I'm using psychic powers. Oh, okay. I yeah. don't think you're supposed to have that. Can I see that? I think mm-hmm. I changed that to something else. Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah. You're not supposed to have that. Yeah, that's, it. that's weird. Good job. Did, oh, you switch, did you switch to the other class? The other oath? I can double check. Uh, I don't know. I can double check. Crap, no, I probably shouldn't create, create, create an electoral system in this, this, this system. Not with this, no, not with the no, paladin. No, no, Paladin's no, no, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> you hey, did not. Hey, Evan, it took you and the gnomes a while to migrate to that. We had to do some other steps first. You might want to, <laughs> you might not want to hop straight into direct democracy. Yeah, what is your system? So basically, we start off with Marvel Republic, but it's a long story. I'll explain something to you later. <laughs> um, I. I guess it might. I guess I'm still talking to the crowd. I come from a religious pact, and I believe I know how to save the world. And I would appreciate everyone's support. support. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Here you are. Oh, thanks. No, I know. Yep, I know what to say now. Okay. For now, I say we call off on who on who is fit to be emperor as of right now. I say that the houses for, to to prove themselves as worthy rulers must show that they are capable of helping in, helping in this endeavor to save the world. Like trying Wh- to bring them on our team? Essentially, whoever, whoever contributes the most, whoever, not just, not just in, in wealth, but in ter- terms of, of being able to unify the people, rally, ra- ra- show that they can rally to a cause and back it up, should be the ones who prove themselves worthy of, beca- of being a house capable of ruling this empire. Is it a good idea for me to 
explain how to save the world because I feel like explaining how would be very bad no. because then the bad guys would go after it. Because no, because no, because we, yeah, don't, don't the do tabernacle that things. Yeah, because we haven't even explained the, our big reason for why we sh why we're trying to establish this union okay. so far. Okay. Yes. Cool. Go on. Yeah. So what are you suggesting? Yeah. That um, I, I basically suggest that the ha the houses um show show that they show not, not don't just sh uh say show that they that they are capable of of uh. Of um, running, of being an, of, t of taking the throne. So, in in what way? Um, showing that they are capable of uh, preparing defenses, unifying the people, um, and the rest he's, the rest of the empire. And saying, essentially in what saying, what way are you trying to have them show exactly? Oh. He's trying to get the noble houses to unify their resources against this greater Common threat, threat that they're yes. talking about. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No one's actually. So there's two explained. problems. No one's actually explained yet. There's. They don't know that there's a threat. They just know that there's no emperor and someone needs to be the emperor. Right. And then secondly, uh, the biggest thing you have to keep in mind is House Essence was the last one, which means that you are actually the weakest house. Hmm. Okay. In terms of wealth. Uh, people support, um, and just house noble numbers. Mm. Shit. Okay, so what can I actually so say then? So, let's, uh... Backtrack it. Backtrack it a little bit, so that you, 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 you come, you come at this with the understanding that the reason no one's giving you heed is because you are literally the smallest person in the room. Right. As far as they're concerned. With okay. the biggest bodyguards. <laughs> One of the biggest bodyguards. Oh uh, shit, okay. Um, how do I suggest that I do this then? Hmm. And also one of your bodyguards is now giving a speech. Yes, that too. I'm about the emperor. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, okay, so did they react to what I said? Yeah, they did. They, they, they have. They're more... They are more perceptive to what you guys as a group have to say. Okay. But there's still an issue of... Uh, they don't know... Evan seems to be pushing some sort of agenda. They don't know what the agenda is. Other than he wants to be emperor. Um, and as far as they know, they want to be emperor too. And that there has to be an emperor at the seat in order to properly get the, the nation to correctly behave as a, as a community. As opposed to what it is right now, which is... Bickering houses. Be, bickering houses yeah. within the capital and individual city-states that are doing their own thing. Okay. So, I'm just trying to think here. Is it okay? Well, I guess I, I guess I have something to say. Well, uh, well, first off, how about we let one? How about we let one person at a time speak? Let's start with that. I've already said my part. And I'll, who, which, who's the house? Who's the double house next to me? Uh, Chevelle. Chevelle. Um. Uh. We'll let the next the next house speak, present their argument, and have the moderator. Moderate. House Chevelle, the floor is yours. And I'll hop off, the, hop off the thing and sit down. Uh, you'll find that um, you'll find that Valud, the leader of the house, kind of like uh, seems taken aback <laughs> at first. And then tries to speak up. Uh, but House Paramour will then speak up and go, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Why should they get a turn speaking? And I'll just I'll just get back up and use my voice. Cause they were next to me. <laughs> Wait, where, where, is Paramour the one on my right? Uh, yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Ah, uh, it's like, okay, fine. I'll take out a coin. Hedge of tails! No, no, no. Just, just <laughs> clockwise. <laughs> yes. Uh, Tylus will raise a hand and be like, enough of this. We've done this before. It just devolves into chaos. That's why I haven't stopped any of you before. It's been going on for years. <sighs> hey, uh, Evan. Yeah? These people even know there's an imminent threat to the race. No? 
Should we finally drop a ball, or...? Uh, that might help them make some decisions. I'll do it, because that's my whole shit. Mm. Eh? Maybe. It might be more coming out of a noble. <laughs> it might, yeah, though. Are you a noble or am I? I'm a noble. Okay. Yeah. I was like, wait, who's that? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. Um, Sorry. That's fine. It's like, uh, is, is um, Tylo going to say anything else? No. Okay. And is, is, are the houses still quiet? Uh, they're murmuring to themselves. Okay. Yeah. They're trying to, at this point, they're not arguing with each other, but they're all trying to figure out like, what do we do now? <laughs> what the fuck are we doing now? <laughs> it's like, well, good thing I've taken them out of there. Out of their their slump. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try this again, I suppose. So, shall we drop the ball? I think the leaders should all just fight each other. And whoever comes. <laughs> Are you saying this out loud in common? No. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I feel like my little Ganassi would be like smacking you. <laughs> Shut up! I'm speaking in Turkish. <laughs> okay. See so you. Okay, I quietly. guess. I guess. Okay, I guess. I guess now's now's as good a time as any. I mean, it'd be more so like, efficient. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll stand up again, project my voice in more some, but in a not as bombastic way still. It's like the reason why I returned home, the reason why I am pushing for the unity of the houses right now to pick a good emperor, an emperor that will protect our nations, is because of my worldly travels to the. <laughs> What, what, what kind of what force was the what, was the um um for the wood elves again? For the wood elves? Yeah. The Somerset. Uh, Somerset. Somerset force. Somerset. Somerset. Somer. My travels led me to discover that the moon elves are on the rise again. They looked. They looked to invade. Arcadia is the country, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. They look to invade Arcadia, enslave humans, and who knows what else. And they intend to, to, to do it by force. If we continue to fight amongst ourselves, we're only doing their job for them faster. Hell yeah. That is what my world views have brought me back home for. Make a per uh, persuasion check with an advantage. Oh, God. You got this. Uh, make a perception check. <gasps> How'd you okay. do? That's good, but I'm gonna make one more. Woo! Not bad. Oh. Persuasion? With Wait, do I do that too? Only if you want to make a perception check. 21. Nice. Okay. 15. Okay. 22. Yes. <laughs> I got a. Nine? Plus Nine. your modifier? Perception. So 11. What did you get? 11. 15. Oh, sorry. Okay. No, you're. <laughs> You're fine. I, I would just um, lie, there was a, that tapestry breezed open again, and the beam of light shined about eight feet through the air. So it hit Vimic square in the eyeball. It hit the paladin. Oh, he rolled a fifteen. Oh it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It hit, fifteen. It hit him in the face, but it went right over Rompip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So, uh, what you two get is uh, you'll notice Silas reacts in a way. Um, he seems both- Silas or Tylus? Tylus, sorry. <laughs> oh, Silas. I was like- Where is- who's Silas? <laughs> Tylus- He just walks in. Will, walks um, in. It's like, sorry. <laughs> uh, react to- to Evan's words. Um, he seems both surprised and also s persuaded, in a way. Um, you notice this too, but you will also notice that in House Paramore, uh, there is a, uh, hooded priest behind them. Their demeanor has gone from uh, relaxed to rigid. Can I tell what this priest is? Uh, make a religion check with an advantage. Oh. Because you have the bottle of the acolyte. Oh, yay! Moon elves was, was the correct term for this, right? Uh, moon elves or high elves. Okay. Uh, nat 20 plus 5. Woo! Nice! Damn. So you know that House Paramore is a very religious house. They actually control the majority of the churches, including the Cathedral of Stars, which is, which is famous in Vassaros for being this magnificent cathedral. Um, they're, they're cloaked in a um, white, uh, white with silvery feathers and a black accent. Can I tell what race this priest is? He is... Hum uh... <laughs> 
He's human. Okay. But yes, his, his demeanor has gone from a, a cool and relaxed to a kind of like rigid. Got it. So you're trying to convince everyone you're going to be emperor, right? Kinda, that's, sorta. Yeah, that's that's the that's that's the sales pitch. Okay, then I'm going to come and back you up. You ready? Yes. ready? Oh no. All right. Okay. So you're not going to cast a spell, are you? No. Okay, good. I'm just going to talk because mm. hopefully I'll get a good roll. Oh, yeah, good old pounds with high charisma. Yeah. yeah. So I'll tell them. Um, hold on, let me look at my stuff really quick. One sec. Which one are you looking for? To see, I have like a religious symbol on my chest, right? Yes. As a Ganassi? Mm -hmm. Okay. And is there anything like that for a paladin? I'm trying to like give myself credibility. I don't think there's anything like usually, that. Usually a paladin wears their coat, wears their, wears the, the you, symbol you, of their. Yeah. yeah. The, okay. Have... All right. So I tell the crowd I have taken an oath of harmony as a Ganassi paladin. I can see good from evil. I'm basically an oracle, and I know that one of these three people that I'm traveling with is part of saving the world. So why couldn't he be the emperor? Yeah? Oh. Huh? That might have been a bit more than, than I would have uh, wanted. Well, a check. Yeah. Lights! Well, <laughs> well, you said you were trying to be emperor. Oh, I'm trying yeah, to help you out. Yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you. Thank mm -hmm, you. sure. Yeah. But no, that, that was unexpected. Fine. <laughs> God damn it, can I go again? Or is that a thing? Uh, no. Okay. Damn it. Even with my light show? <laughs> What's um, your uh, modifier? Oh, yeah. I think it's Five plus, plus two. For persuasion, yeah? Yep. You should have a higher than two. For persuasion? Probably not. I it's just it two. Is. It's just seven. Yeah, unfortunately... Uh, Damn it. It was worth a try. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to convince anyone to immediately elect him as emperor. <sighs> I tried. <laughs> Damn, if it was on that 20, what would happen? I tried, man. <laughs> Your adventure days will be over. <laughs> just, like, just Tyler's all like, all right, here's the crown, here's the cape, run the country. <laughs> it's like, bye. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired of sitting up here. Here, take the crown. <laughs> <laughs> you have great. it. <laughs> Manny, roll a new character. <laughs> oh, fuck, okay. Okay, so you, you just told everyone that the high elves are about to invade. Yes. Yes. High elves from whatever part of that part of the world that, that is. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, so Brand will stand up and immediately uh, point to Tylus and uh, uh, say to him, I call out a Tulum Pugna Nula. What do, do I know what the fuck that means? It is the ancient law in Arcadia which pitted nobles against each other in arena combat in front of the masses. This is actually kind of is, what I wanted. Is he saying this? Which would be held at the Cliff Mount Amphitheater. Is that what he yes, says? Yes, that's what he says. It's like... In oh. Gnomish. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, do you know what that means? No, he just said it. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, good point, good point, good point. I do not believe his case. And I will prove it by defeating him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm gonna... Perfect, perfect. I'm not sure that proves anything at all, actually. It, it proves Gnomish. everything. As part of the law, what are the terms to combat that you... The wish to... The winner... Fulfill. Wins. Hand to hand combat. <laughs> Smooth hmm. that. Ah. <laughs> uh, well. Interesting. Hey. Does it have to be a two and hope? Oh, you mean Yuri. That's what you mean by brand Yuri. Okay. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Brand Odiada. Yeah. Odiada. Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the rest of that joke. Fuck. <laughs> Has just challenged you and. Because of the way the law is stated, you determine the terms of the battle. So, how do you want to do this? What does this guy look like? Brandon? Yeah. Uh, Brand? Uh, he... he looks... Imagine if... Evan had blonde hair. <laughs> Fantastic. Would, uh... And lighter eyes. He, he kind of looks... he doesn't look like Evan, but... From from the distance that you guys are at, kind of looks like Evan. He, but he like, exudes the same amount of style. Is he taller or shorter than Evan? Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> that one. You're pretty sure he's shorter than him. <laughs> I'm not sure what this means. I'm not saying anything. It's like I suppose we fight until one of us not gets knocked out. Those are my terms. What say you, House Yuri? You don't want to find my like some sort of disadvantage by like having him stand in a trench or something. I don't 
<laughs> you don't want you don't want to add your friends to the fight. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. It's like you determine the terms oh, of the battle. Right. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. It's like <laughs> magic. Yeah. Oh, what, no what weapons you, though, because you said hand to hand, right? Huh? What, so what does hand to hand? Just just in general combat, because hand to hand means he's, it sounds like he wants to he wants to to, to put this cuffs. cuffs. Uh, so just, just no, because you determine the terms of the battle. Oh. He said hand to hand, yes, but you determine the terms of the battle. So you could you could say oh okay. you and your three companions like, all weapons all magic all yeah. the time. It's like yeah. Me and Mike, me, okay, final destination, no weapons. <laughs> no, items. no No, no <laughs> items, yeah. I mean, like... Stop one life, you know? <laughs> yeah, you, you determine like, right? the term me of the battle. It's like, me and my companions were the, one, were the ones who discovered this. They fought through me with, through thick and thin. Our conviction. It's like, my conviction is our conviction. It's like, my, it's like me and my companions versus you and yours fighting to the best of our ability until... <laughs> until the other part, until the other party is knocked out, Vimic's face will change from intimidation to mild concern. <laughs> <laughs> Brand will laugh. <laughs> knocked out. Blood will be shed. It is to the death. What can I tell about this guy? Uh, he seems just as eccentric as as Evan. So he's like like splaying himself out. Uh. He, he's, he's almost kind of making the same poses. But otherwise, you don't get the immediate sense that he seems really all that dangerous. Well, Evan doesn't really seem all that dangerous. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> uh, I feel like they're... Oh, I think I like to It's like, Shadow Evan. <laughs> I'm having, I'm having more realizations as, as this comes about, and they're not even actually re related to, and to, to to JoJo. So, um, it's like, I'm I mean, just, he was your closest friend. I am until he killed your dog. Yes. <laughs> oh. Like, oh. Can you tell Vimic this later? Just I will. I will. I will. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. In fact, maybe save it for battle. Yeah. Just you know. Just, <laughs> just by yeah. the way, he killed the dog. Fire. <laughs> 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 Same. It's like, if that's how you're going to accept the terms, then bring it on. It's like, uh, so wait, do all what? of us have to die, or just you all? So, <laughs> is that, does I, that mean we're fighting to the death? Probably. I didn't sign up for that. So Tyler, like, Tyler's will, uh, you know, pop his gavel and say, the, the terms of the fight have been determined. The last of the, ha uh, the house to stand is the one that stands. Uh, so in uh, <laughs> mechanical terms... Uh, Brand and Evan are the targets. Yeah. Oh. So if Brand dies, House Essence is the one that gets the remain. If if Evan dies, House uh, Yuri is the one that gets the remain. So that's how we're playing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the companions or Brand's companions don't are cannon fodder. Matter yeah. all that much. Uh, they might. They might not. They're ads. Right, but we're going after taking them down is isn't just them. taking them down. It doesn't. If we want to talk about like raid matters, yes, taking them down doesn't apply to total finishing victory. the raid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. To yeah. Total victory is taking the king. Cool. Yes. Awesome. Cool. All right. Uh, I didn't want to kill any nobles. It's like. Get this guy's a bit. Well, this guy's a bit of an asshole. You will. You might want to later. I don't know. He doesn't look all that dangerous to me. Let's take him out. I'm gonna point at Evan. It's like, how dangerous do I look? Menacing, 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 menacing. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> come on, we've been. Come on, we've been. We've done stuff for a month. I mean. Yeah. Hey, 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 don't, don't, don't talk like this in front of the other people. We need to say y'all. I'm in, in, very menacing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Sorry. How, I'm, I'm gonna look over at the bodyguards in the Yuri, Yuri booth. Mm -hmm. Just real sly, like just kind of barely underneath my uh, pelt. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Are you flipping them off and no? You can make a perception check. <laughs> flipping them off in British. It's 21. 
21. <laughs> wow, they took offense to that. <laughs> uh, they don't seem to be phased. <laughs> Shall I went over? <laughs> cool. That's all. All right. Has the uh, has ha, has the uh, re- has the rest of the houses reacted to this? Uh, yeah, they're they're like they're frantic in their murmur because yeah. <laughs> this means that like one of the remaining houses gets eliminated permanently. Mm-hmm. Oh. Cool. Which makes it even better of a chance for one of them to take the seat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're they're definitely for this Intrigued, right now. Yeah. When was the last time a uh, a, a, a trial by combat has been initiated? When did you leave? Two hundred years. Oh shit! So this is going to be interesting. You guys have a limited amount of time to make as many preparations as you want. Cool. Cool. Awesome. What do you What do you want to do? Uh, so, so we've left the. Yeah. Place at this point, people convened. Houses are talking to their respective houses. Does Doors will come with me? Yeah. Okay. I want to get her a saddle. Okay. Okay. To fit Rumpit. Oh, Rumpit? Shit. Yeah. We're going to do you up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jump cut <laughs> to somebody who can make us a <laughs> saddle. I'm a leather maker. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm going to assume that it's a military saddle that you were getting. Probably. Uh, is there... Gives there... you an advantage check uh, when you, to remain mounted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In combat. Yeah. Okay. It'll be 20 gold pieces. All right. I got and they that. And so, uh, I I they can give you something that would support a uh, two-legged running creature. I don't know what to do to... I'm going to stock up on arrows and get a full quiver. Okay. Uh, get yourself a dagger. And I'm also going to pick up another dagger. You have like three daggers, dude. I'm picking up two more. (laughs) A quiver of arrows. Should be one gold. Yes, one gold piece. Woo! And I believe a dagger is five. But let me check. Uh, yes. Da- uh, oh, sorry. A dagger is two gold pieces, so four. An additional four gold pieces out. Cool. Earlier that Okay. Uh, yeah. Session. Uh, all of you will go to the amphitheater. Going That's at the cliff the mouth. Theater. It's literally at the very bottom of the cliff underneath the Pillar of Archons. Oh. Cool. Um, on, the, on the sheer side of it. And it's literally cut into the cliff like a cave. Cool. Um, but in a form of an amphitheater. So what normally would be like theater plays or like fake combat with uh, like military routines. It's going to act as your arena for the, uh, for the fight. And Paul will be with you. Oh. What does Paul think about this? He's just here to serve House Essence oh. in the best ways that he can. So, uh... Paul, what's your plan in all this? I will protect Master Evan to the best of my abilities. As his mother has instructed me since he was born. Now that I'm (laughs) underestimating, what did those happen to be? What does what happen to be? Your abilities. He gives you a wink. (laughs) <laughs> gotcha. And, and a coy smile. Oh, man, is he gonna join in on this fight? Yeah, he's joining on the fight. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, how many how, how many's on a, on, t- on a Team Yuri? Same number. Five? Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh... I was gonna be a 4v4, but okay. 5v5. Five, five five. Cool. Five stack. I'm just gonna look at Bevan. Stay in the middle. Gotcha. Okay. It's like it's been a while since I, since I last uh, I starred with. I'll pull out Red. my my cuts bogger. My animated shield. Okay. I'm just ready. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a crowd growing, too. Uh, the houses have, like, seating. They have, like, raised seating and a crowd is Lots starting to... Lots of seats. Yeah. And a crowd <laughs> is starting to billow, like, underneath them, trying to get, like, views. Some of them are even, like, pulling up... Because uh, cause the theater is actually in front of uh, part of the uh, streamway. Some people are actually pulling up with, like, boats and stuff and anchoring them to get a better what? view of this. Oh, yeah, geez. you're you're drawing in a full crowd. This has not happened for 200 years. People aren't going to miss two nobles trying to kill each other, you know? Ha has, um... Do I know anything about Paul? About Paul? Yeah, it, about his abilities, I suppose. Uh, all you know is that he's very fast. Uh, he's surprisingly fast. He's surprisingly dexterous. It's a fucking rogue, I bet. <laughs> um, but you've silent. never seen him carry a weapon in his life. Interesting. Oh okay. my well, god. I, I don't know what to expect. I honestly don't know what to expect at this point anymore. Okay. Uh, Tireless will come walking in from the center. Uh, his his paladin cape billowing behind him. Uh, but his helmet is on. Uh, and his sword is at his side. And he looks to looks to you guys. Looks to House Yuri, and he says to you guys, "This fight will be to the death. Hold nothing back. For it is not known if your comrades will revive you or not." I'm gonna look, go with Paul real quick and just say, "It's like I'm not gonna tell you. Thank you for everything you've done for me and my family, because I'm not gonna die." Well said, <laughs> Master. <Matt. laughs> yeah, he'll. Just kind of lean over and just be like, mm. "I would just go hold my." I kind of feel bad. He doesn't. He's so puny. Hey, <laughs> I'm just gonna hold my open hands on top of my head. My empty hands on top of my head. Okay. Come forward, Master Evan of House Essence. <laughs> Slow lock. Make a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, not bad. Not bad. Wait, why am I making? I don't have. I don't have, I don't have... Thirteen. Thirteen? Wow. Really? Yeah, so, so yeah, the, the, you, you, you strut forward, and the crowd actually kind of, like, you get a nice billow of your, of your robes coming from the other side. The crowd's kind of like, ooh, ah. Yeah, you even have a couple nobles murmuring to you, uh, murmuring to each other, like, pointing towards you. Yeah. I'll just take that one, that one, like, bit of, bit of, uh, of my wrap that's against my, that's covering my, my, one of my arms. I'm just gonna, <laughs> let it billow. Yeah. Brand of House Yuri, come forth. And he'll try to do the same thing. Uh, it doesn't go as as well. <laughs> he's going. He's in like imitating you exactly. <laughs> so the crowd's kind of just like, uh, okay. Um, Evan, geez. he's kind of a douche. Evan's a bit away from you. Oh, unless you call out to him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no, Evan. <laughs> he's kind of a douche. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs, I just, thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, just. Like, the rules are simple. One of you must die. The other must live. Hold nothing back. Mm. Okay. Now shake, and know that the terms of your of the price of his blood. I'll be the first to extend my hand. Okay. We'll swat it away. This one's for Dang. He spits at the ground. I'll see you in your grave. Jesus Christ. He walks, he walks back into place. I like so much babies. I'll walk back in place as yes. well. Before you go, Tyler's walks you lean over. Man, that guy really is a douchebag. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, thank you, Your Honor. Like, walk back. Uh, Tyler's will unsheath the sword, raise it into the air. And, uh... Hey, hey Vinick. Uh, remember that story I told you about my dead dog? Oh, yeah? He's the one who killed it. <laughs> you see his... Vimic, he looks down. He's like... He's putting the pieces together in his head. Because <laughs> I assume that... Yeah, go on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the, the, uh, yeah, Vimic's just, <laughs> <laughs> he's not quite there. <laughs> he's like holding it, but like wants to let it go. Yeah. Yes, I understand. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Tylus will raise a sword, 
uh, it will immediately glow with a bright light. Let the trial by combat begin! And he'll swing it downward, and this beam of light will carve a line into the ground, and Brand will immediately take a stunning pose. And yell across the field, I know your secrets, Evan of House Essence! Let me show you mine! King of the Clouds! And he brings upon this regal, knightly spirit that envelops across him. I throw my great sword. It's like, my immortal! <laughs> and we'll start next session <laughs> with an in, uh, initiative roll. Yeah. Yay! That was fun. You can draw your great sword on your initiative. Yeah. Yay. Wow. What'd you guys think? That was fun. He's cool. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son, of Son of a bitch. bitch. Lots of surprises were pulled today. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Gunther. The DM for Trivium of Time, wanting to thank you for listening to Feats and Fantasies. We all had a lot of fun at the table and would love to know if you enjoyed it too. You can talk to us on Twitter at Feats and Fantasies with the hashtag Trivium of Time. If you want to help support our adventures, please consider donating to doubletake.xyz slash donate. All donations go directly to improving the podcast and future projects related to Feats and Fantasies and help us fund better ways to get you involved. Thank you again for supporting our podcast by listening, and please share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next episode.